very, um, what would you say the word is, um, offensive remarks about how could black people even understand um, what to vote or who to vote or even anything about the system. This is back when they were just starting to get freed and white people had to defend the shit out of the intelligence and uh, validity of uh, African American, uh, you know, Latino, Amer you know, stuff like that. People in general, back in the day, okay, and uh, there there was no such thing as a singular or even a small group or even a very large group of only colored individuals doing all of the work that uh, was required for the necessary bills, amendments, talks, discussions, uh, all the stuff that needed to be done to have them be able to uh, have um, the rights they have now. And um, that's, that's a, a rough one. It's scary for me to talk about it because it's like I'm a white person. You know, I mean, I'm a white person that uh, knows that um, a good deal of white people came forward to help uh, free uh, black people or, you know, help them get the right to vote and uh, have uh, the ability to work, be able to be educated, be able to, to live, have the same rights as us. I mean, it's, there's still a lot of issues and they could only get so much really accomplished if we're being brutally honest especially with those offensive remarks that they were saying and then the general attitude of the zeitgeist at the time was such that they are uh, while needing to be considered with empathy, kindness, compassion, acceptance and tolerance and all these wonderful words, buzzwords still though um, they should not have the same drinking water, they should not have the same houses, they should not have the same education, they should not have, and we all had to keep pushing on that one, even if um, the results, uh, even in now, in November 9th, 2022, there are obvious glaring work, it still needs to be done, issues going on in, in our society and zeitgeist as a whole. But where this this conversation came from was um, talking about uh, well, I'm a, I'm gonna get to it. I'll tell you that much. I will talk about the, the the previous thing I was talking about, and then I'll talk about the main core subject it was attached to. But um, and we did something similar. In fact with uh, ups and downs throughout our American history with homosexuals and non-heteronormative um, sexual identities or um, you know, similar with their sexualities or you know, things like this but um, and so it took a lot of hetero, normative, cis individuals to help them become acceptable, valid, and uh, not hated nearly as much. Although we still see it, it's not as bad as it once was. Um, I'm going to throw one in here. Okay, before we get to the main core reason why I started talking about this and hit you over the head with that initial statement in the beginning of this uh, journal, podcast thing, whatever it's going to be. Um, men had to help women get the right to vote back in the beginning of the 19th century. They didn't immediately have that. They had to make that a thing and uh, you know validize or you know help 
uh, solidify for the zeitgeist's opinion that women were uh, as strong, as intelligent, and capable of voting and understanding and everything else, just like black people had to uh, go through as well. And homosexuals, in terms of their um, non-sinning behavior that is a necessary uh, for the majority of us in uh, on earth you know humans in the in our species uh, needing intimate relations that we feel comfortable with with individuals that sexually arouse us and that satisfy our um, needs within those uh, categories now uh, a lot of uh, feminists that are possibly a little more gung-ho or um, more extreme in their views um, were uh, kind of, uh, not kind of, I should really just say, are possibly still even now, uh, is a better way to, I think, phrase it, uh, less... Uh, caring about the fact that, um, or maybe not acknowledging, maybe they don't know, I'm not sure, but um, they uh, don't seem to place much, much stock, they don't seem to place much stock in the fact that the, um, men, even older men that we young ones right now, here and now, are saying are too old to be in a government or in the conversation or, you know, for whatever it is, because they write off every one of them into the same category as the lazy, racist, whatever else it was or is. But um, they had to have these talks with the men, and I'm sure there were shitty people inside those. Uh, groups of men that were trying to help and, uh, y you know, foster a uh, very real uh, movement and change in our country at the time for these, um, for the, of course, uh, the other half of our species, the other gender, uh, to be considered uh, equal, or at least more uh, close, closer to being uh, more equal, or treated more fairly, or more correctly, you know, as they should, in a more uh, equivalent and equal manner, um, which I'm fully all about, truthfully, um, uh, so, um, I voted Katie Hobbs, Mark Kelly, all this stuff, uh, and I'm all about, uh, them having the right over their bodies, and the ones, uh, uh, the, the, whatever they want to choose to do with it, you know, that kind of thing. It, um, the ones was the ones that are not like this are, of course, I, I have to also validi to give validity to in stating that uh, they are still, uh, in every single way, allowed to have their beliefs, even if they are detrimental to themselves and or others around them. Um, it, it is still uh, uh, allowed, and even if it is frustrating or uh, seen as um, not correct to do by other men and women, um, and in general that it does uh, seem to d definitely have uh, their views, this is, of not allowing abortions or... Um, similar things like this uh, seems to increase the risk and um, death uh, rate of the individuals um, for, for the, the women individuals is really what I want to say because it's not just women that can get pregnant uh, validity to uh, you know non gender identity individuals or uh, men that can also have, um, uh, you know, a pregnancy as well. So, get off of that one uh, uh, in terms of, of, of my my thoughts. But that being said, it, it did take a lot of effort and money 
this is this is something that uh, is is not often discussed because there's a great deal of money that is likely to uh, be uh, there and continuing to be there um, with continuing a a current zeitgeist status quo of suppressing and um, sort of uh, you know uh, invalidating and so on and so so forth uh, the women of our country at the time and uh, making it easier to uh, for sure hone in and market and uh, basically keep consistent sales or whatever it was but you know the men at the time were the primary people that that you know um, were the ones that you were gonna get money from if you're a corporation or the government or in, in general like lots of stuff like this um, and so they had to be convinced of not just all the other things they also had to be convinced of um, the, the money would have been worth it in the long ter term or that uh, the altruistic nature of someone spending all their money uh, on this philanthropic effort to uh, gain women a um, you know, voice and uh, be heard for the future was uh, at least worth it in some aspect. And so, anytime I think about this, I end up getting a little confused because there is a there and there there isn't is a uh, technically though there is. I mean, everything I just stated is still currently going on because there still is a genuine lack of understanding, kindness, tolerance, acceptance anything towards any of the groups, uh, transsexuals as well, and all the rest of uh, the individuals and in the the rainbow community, um, the LGBTQIA uh, plus, um, if there is more that I'm forgetting, there you go. Um, but uh, they're still hated by a decent, significant, or felt very uncomfortable around stuff like this in America as a whole, even if certain cities, or a good uh, majority, likely, if I'm being honest, of cities uh, in the, the country, major cities, that is, and, uh, and the majority of people uh, within inside of them are of the opinion that it's they're good and it's okay and so on and so forth and so um, the, the main core subject of the topic I, I first started with was the uh, people that are minor attracted persons people that were born of a particular inclination towards um, uh, sexual inclination this is um, individual uh, children, younger possibly, or teenage persuasion, hebophilia or ebophilia, uh, there within, or uh, that are individuals that are, um, they can go f uh, from as young as children to um, older than. Uh, 20 or something, I've, I've seen it uh, every which way, if I'm being honest, to the point where they're even, uh, I'm not going to try and out myself here too much, I kind of already have, if I'm being honest, but um, uh, where it is such that um, they can go from being uh, quite young in the children age to older than even themselves and uh, it's the same sexual attraction and can possibly even have uh, sexual attraction towards multiple at once multiple adults, multiple teens multiple kids or, or so on and so forth 
and so it definitely ties into the sexual identity that that uh, rainbow community crowd happens to be, even if it is not a sexual identity, only if because the uh, definition precludes anything really, if we're being honest, outside of a gender uh, um, specification, which uh, when that uh, definition was created, it was a, in a very, very ancient time, and uh, with a, extremely different views um, about sexuality and what was acceptable and not, and it was legitimately used for religions at, uh, when it was um, created. Uh, to kind of really force home a particular type above all else style of sexuality um, and in which that uh, you know homosexual, bisexual, pansexual you know a lot of this uh, was uh, not included within that um, allowed to be in, in the definition as it was, which you fought hard to be more accepted, even if you're not that much more accepted than you are right now, which might be a pretty decent explanation as to why the genuine overwhelming fear of them being included within uh, the community itself um, it could be there as it could threaten and jeopardize all their hard work and effort over generations to becoming more uh, accepted. Uh, what I would unfortunately caution them in that way of thinking is uh, half-assing measures got you, um, you know, places where they only allowed black people to rent or buy houses or get apartments that also uh, meant that it was not um, uh, signed into our amendments to uh, make women and or uh, minority individuals or uh, uh, certain sexual identity individuals protected by our constitution, uh, meaning federally to having the same rights and wages as uh, heteronormative individuals or men in general do for their wages and um, so on and so forth. Uh, as much as they tried to get it passed, um, half measure was they didn't keep pressure on and uh, there wasn't really like and they try to get it passed on the state side level, but um, I'm in a state currently that uh, was against the ratification of the amendment uh, and did not uh, ever vote one way or another, uh, and they're still waiting. But also on top of this, um, they excluded uh, that those protections in our own state uh Constitution. So that was a, a big shocker, actually, if I'm being honest, to learn that that wasn't uh, when I was younger uh, and I learned it, uh, that it wasn't already a thing because I felt like that was quite obviously and clearly the right, correct, only real. Why wouldn't they get the same equivalent as everyone else for the same work or whatever else? And, uh, and I just, then that's kind of what opened up my naive perception of how some, even, uh, let's put it this way, a lot of people, regardless of gender even, or sexual identity, felt as though women should not actually have the same, um, amount of pay for the same work, or felt because of some whatever it happened to be in terms of sensitivity or they're um, likely to be I, d I don't care I've gotten so many different weird um, explanations and or excuses for their obviously um, more biased and uh, 
pretty cl clearly if they're, they're uncomfortable, they're uncomfortable. If not uncomfortable, uh, straight up frustrated and angry with even the idea of um, having them be uh, allowed um, equal, uh, which speaks volumes to how it is they can help gaslight even the communities that they those particular laws and or bills uh, would help uh, have breaking, broken those communities up and, and, and facilitated uh, them not being able to get it uh, so, um, ratified or codified or uh, put through and made into reality. Um, and uh, I have a couple of journals here from Clint is uh, kind of one of them, someone that I, d I didn't be, I'll be really honest, it, it, was, it was shocking to meet a um, very conservative Republican, or I li know, I'm sorry, he called himself a libertarian, uh, uh, gay sexual male, who, uh, while we were at the mission in my, while I was homeless, uh, stated to me that maybe he could have make it work with a woman. You know, and um, that, it, it, you know, he, stuff like this basically because of the sin and his belief in, in uh, the religion. Not just because of the mission thing, like like a legitimate, like that was uh, his genuine uh, beliefs and thoughts about himself. Um, far be it from me to comment on one's, uh, you know, anything uh, going on for how it is they want to live their life. But, uh, you know, it, it was a very eye-opening experience. I've got to admit, and he wasn't the only one that I met uh, while I was there. When I got a job at a Safeway, briefly, there was a lesbian woman that um, kids, truck, all this stuff that was uh, working there with, with me for being a gro grocery restocker. Um, it had a hard time understanding why other people couldn't perhaps uh, be at her level in terms of her job performance, even though she was new and all this other stuff uh, as well, and, and, and she was working quite hard and quite well, uh, but, you know, had her own, I've heard stories about her also having some issues while, while doing the job anyways, that's neither here nor there, but uh, was a, a, another conservative and her, I, she, I believe, was a Republican instead of a Libertarian like Clint. That, um, I believe, uh, also stated uh, something that would effectively make me believe that, um, well, for her herself, no, but I could see why they wouldn't want to make the law, you know, kind of that way, which I believe Clint, who is also... A uh, similar, I guess, mindset. Maybe not anymore, but maybe not then. I don't know. But it, it, it got uh, that kind of impression. If not, it might have actually uh, kind of said that in one of our conversations. I wasn't recording at the time, but might have said something similar, or at least enough that I felt as though that might actually be uh, some of their thoughts and feelings on, on that, which is quite telling about um, how genuinely uh, kind of new this is. I think a lot of us, uh, because I'm, I'm 30 years old, a lot of us millennials and Gen Xers, especially the Gen Z crowd, uh, are maybe a little less aware of just how because we, it's been all of our life practically that this has been acceptable, and it's clearly, uh, obviously, the right thing to do, and like that's not okay for them to be that way, stuff like this. But um, a damn significant portion of our country and the people in it were raised to believe other things, but and uh, were extremely. Um, 
aggressive about uh, that, especially uh, behind closed doors, away from you know prying ears or whatever. Where when they 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 thought they could be a lot more candid or a lot more real, and uh, revealed their genuine hatred and racism and more. And of course, it uh, meant that it was uh, grown even stronger and further, especially with the distrust in um, a lot of our systems, which I myself actually do have some misgivings and mistrust um, for our government, corporations, media, school systems uh, as well, if I'm being honest. There's more uh, uh, too, but um, that's uh, neither here nor there. Really, it just highlights, I feel, the inability for some some people to maybe understand um, some of the things being talked about with these studies or uh, have um, been wildly um, made, uh, made to believe wildly incorrect things as uh, more truthful than otherwise should have been, possibly uh, on that same uh, coin or in that same vein, uh, some of these studies or uh, uh, similar things with um, regards to uh, their genuinely uh, uh, is a some... There's a there's a little bit of a narrative that does get, uh, depend especially depending on the the news uh, journal or whatever um, that is uh, putting the article or piece out um, has a um, typical want of a phrasing or um, it's stuff like that. Uh, if if not for the scientific stuff, it's it's just like they also sometimes leave out um, a lot of uh, variables that could it could significantly in 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 multiple ways, most likely uh, influence the uh, the end results and conclusions of what the the study may end up uh, saying is um, the results are okay um, but it was a shocker because um, I, uh, I I grew up quite sheltered and naive to a lot of the world around me and didn't even know what a lot of racist slurs were until later on in life and then realized people were using them around me without actually knowing that they were racist slurs. Um, I didn't uh, use them myself because it just inherently seemed wrong to say anyways. Um, simply because it, it had other words attached to it or other connotations very much, there's lots of anger, this is game chat rooms, you know, older adult males and or females with, with whom I used to game either as a child or teenager or young adult. And uh, this, this, these things would be said. Um, and I, I never bothered or really kind of more specifically wanted to ask them what some of these things meant simply because it was obviously uh, said with a lot of hate and anger and um, stuff that it just meant that, it, that you should never really probably use it, even if you were extremely angry because it was uh, going too far when a simple fuck and shithead and so on and so forth could do the job, you know, quite well enough. Um, for their expression of frustration, anger, and so on and so forth. 
Um, I would love to tell you about all of them, but I'm, I, I, that's, that's irrelevant if I'm being honest. What I'm trying to, to say is that we are pretty darn new to just barely accepting and fighting for the rights of the LGBTQIA plus crowd um, that is out there. And uh, we still have fights uh, to do and uh, to win for the uh, black minority individuals, I should really just say colored people at, at large in, in America, and women uh, too, uh, obviously. Um, the, the problem I'm having is that it feels like a half-assed measure thanks to um, these individuals that are now the uh, real scapegoated individuals that feel extremely similar from my perspective um, to uh, their communities in, in, in some aspects, if not quite a few where they are targeted, persecuted, intentionally allowed um, harm, thanks to it being acceptable and normalized, discounted, invalidated, and um, there are a lot of absolutes and generalizations that are thrown into the minor attracted persons uh, community alongside of a decent amount of studies that are not um, added into the conversation and people pointing out that a study that uh, is pointing towards following people that have been abused um, shows that they've been abused and likely have mental disorders that come from that which is a survivorship bias uh, for their study um, as there are obviously individuals because it's not always that are going to feel that they weren't abused and that they may or may not end up having these similar mental disorders to the ones that were obviously uh, believing and totally valid because um, they were, they are um, and that uh, believing that they are abused and that that's I'm not saying that they they aren't or weren't, and in fact, I also put forward um, my, uh, a good amount of uh, my own um, trying to wrap my head around why it is, uh, since um, uh, a lot of people over on the left-leaning political spectrum wish for there to be more conversation about our emotional understanding as children, communication towards ourselves and others, setting up boundaries, looking for patterns and of abusive, manipulative behavior, language, and or uh, whatever else uh, is going on with that too, and um, having um, um, a very good uh, uh, practice of it over time and learning also about uh, how to have sex, what sex is, what their genitalia is and will maybe do and or feel if they were to do certain things, um, that it's normal to have, you know, urges and or desires or wanting to try and being curious, and that that is uh, a totally acceptable, everything about that's uh, okay, regardless of uh, um, the gender or whatever it might be that's going on with uh, them at a given point in time, and helping them to learn how to be safe, and not simply be like, don't do it in no way whatsoever, uh, which uh, it is obviously clearly not working that that particular um, method is, is not working. It d didn't work with the drugs, just say no. People still did drugs. In fact, if anything, people are doing 
I am uh, drugs still. So, uh, more or less, I don't know. But they're still definitely doing drugs. So, and they're now starting to legalize certain ones that were uh, not legal in the past uh, as a result of the um, extremely over racism. There's a lot that, that goes into some of these counterculture drugs like um, psychedelics, uh, cannabis, um, LSD, and pathogens like MDMA, stuff like this. Um, but uh, the cat dropped something and now she's playing with it on the floor. Great. You're going to hear scraping in the background. Anyways, and what we've seen overseas is an acceptance of the fact that people are going to use these drugs and uh, correctly teaching and explaining how to safely use them and test them and how to uh, look out and watch out for uh, signs that are uh, indicating a bad um, um, experience and or side effect or something similar and uh, the low and slow or small and work your way up approach and so on and so forth and which alongside of explaining the uh, the very real uh, truth of some being euphoric or you know something that can uh, have a positive attached to some of these drugs and the negatives also as as well as these uh, drugs are used, both short, medium, I mean, uh, for all short, medium, and, and long-term um, use case scenarios, and uh, whether or not uh, it's worth it in comparison to uh, ex uh, other um, activities or experiences they could uh, invest and or do with either the money or the people around them or so on and so forth. So much so, uh, this this uh, type of um, treatment being uh, effective was uh, it was it was it, it significantly curbed a um, um, rate of addiction um, you know, treated. Uh, I forget what it was. Uh, that was stated, but effectively, um, less people became addicted, less people died, less people had uh, significant injuries, um, uh, less uh, overall harm uh, to the general public, especially individuals that are in the younger age range that this uh, was... Um, expressed and taught to earlier on uh, seemingly helping them to not do things or to do things uh, safely uh, with um, you know their curiosity satiated and urged uh, done and then uh, were uh, able to not have it ruin their lives and understood uh how significantly dangerous or risky some of it actually uh, could be or was to do. Um, this is a thing that uh, people immediately state it's not the same. We're talking about a child, and then, like these were children that were taught this at, in elementary school that understood delayed gratification understood uh, that it was acceptable for them to be curious, have urges, and so on and so forth in a, an environment that did not shame or blame any of them for uh, this behavior or uh, thought or, or uh, action, and only wanted them to be uh, safe with it. And it is uh, something that with the understanding the emotions, understanding what could and couldn't happen, uh, some of the benefits, uh, positives, some of the negatives, which there are a few as well, even for adults, for having sex, um, that uh, it, it's, it's pretty clear um, 
they're actually weirdly enough I would love to point you towards things I just feel like um, I would be seen as a bad person or uh, someone that that because I'm disseminating information um, that uh, I don't know but it's it, it's just like I'm, I'm afraid to link any kind of direct or state specifically with anyone uh, exact uh, studies or um, stuff like this I can give you a general direction and uh, the Google foos you know that you have and or uh, depending on if Google is deciding to block results um, or even websites from allowing traffic to go to them uh, which is a thing I have um, learned during my uh, wanting to become more knowledgeable on the subject that I am talking about has uh, made me end up realizing that um, is a thing going on. Um, th there are results that are not shown. There are studies that are behind paywalls I don't really have access to. And there are uh, significant uh, placed uh, in every way right at the forefront of the first couple of pages uh, for studies instead of an opposing view or similar being uh, uh, something that can be um, around and uh, without getting scared of the, the things that you're clicking and or you know going to to, to find um, which uh, still no actually legitimate things anyways point is it's like so there 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 is good enough uh, evidence in some other countries um, overseas namely uh, European Union stuff um, you know uh, some Middle East um, there are a few in the, the that general area. There's a couple South American. Uh, there is a just de de decidedly decent uh, couple. Uh, one that really stood out to me as being very well done in Canada. Um, um, and a couple even actually within our uh, our own country here, the United States of America. If you're if you're uh, a citizen like I am, um, that uh, have um, a d level of um, uh, trying to think of the right words and be kind of delicate and, and not too aggressive about it, but um, uh, seemed to say that. Um, it is possible for children to learn and or uh, have experiences that did not turn out um, to be abusive or traumatic for them um, and uh, that um, it were asked um, about if whether or not they viewed them in any traumatic light, or if uh, someone else uh, expressed that they had um, experienced abuse or trauma, um, and indicated the change in their uh, general, uh, this one I'm specifically uh, talking about an American one, uh, it was done back, I believe, you know, I you're going to have to kind of do a little bit more work on that, uh, just because, um, I don't know if the study was uh, supposed to be behind a paywall or something, or, I don't know, but just a little afraid to directly link anything that is in the, the 60s to 80s, um, um, 1960s to 1980s, I believe, 
could even be earlier than this, which uh, people generally understand uh, that um, people's uh, minds and opinions change on things, and the zeitgeist, of course, also changes over time. Um, and uh, what may have been um, seen as less um, significant or uh, bad or whatever then um, or maybe was expressed in some form or fashion uh, like uh, they, they were um, uh, taught um, about their bodies by uh, parents or something else or could understand and so on and so forth this was possibly there or the uh, immediate reaction uh, wasn't to say that they were harmed and hurt and everything is wrong and bad and we need to go after them um, and instead it could have possibly been one of a um, trying to understand what they thought and felt and uh, correctly proceeding um, fr uh, from that uh, point once it was understood um, what their feelings uh, were, or they just simply weren't really um, even like they, I, I wouldn't say it wasn't valid. It's like yeah, I know you had. Anyways, point is, it I, it was it was more along the lines of it. It, it didn't seem um, that they were told it was as big of a deal or similar to stuff like this um, but anyways it seemed to suggest um, at least initially and uh, the uh, small amount of time after that they followed up that uh, their and of course their criteria have changed the DSM has changed so grains of salt everywhere um, have to be taken but it seemed to, to, to say that it wasn't um, as impactful in the uh, severe negative way um, uh, as, as a lot of people currently shout uh, a lot about and the inability, total, complete inability for consent in any uh, way, form, or fashion uh, was, uh, uh, was possible as well is is it's simply not possible apparently uh, all the time every time for every incident in, in situation which is a huge absolutism and and, and generalization uh, which um, anyone that's ever done any kind of decent uh, work and and science uh, knows is just not true um, it's very rare that things are one hundred percent all the time. Um, I mean, quantum physicists would love to talk about that one to you all the time, saying it's not 100% all these things. But anyways, um, we're going to move on because it's like a, a similar story, uh, apparently, in other parts of the world in which it wasn't seen um, as as bad or as wrong or detrimental so on and so forth for them uh, the, the children at the time and teens at the time that those studies were conducted and followed up on later um, unfortunately I don't really have a good way of pointing to you, to you exactly where it was I went to and uh, Google definitely changes your results um, depending on you uh, also uh, the individual and I caution anyone that happened to state that we have studies right now that uh, of, of course they see these issues and mental issues and so on and so forth um, and I'm like well, well yes obviously individuals that believe and feel uh, traumatized I believe they are traumatized and feel traumatized and of course, aren't um, uh, I, I shouldn't say this in 
and this is I'm not trying to so before anyone um, tries to jump on me for stating it in some way my intention is to mean that this in a non-aggressive harmful or uh, so on way but I feel as though children uh, in those uh, situations in the family and uh, um, uh, if, if it would be possible somehow magically uh, their friends and uh, f f all the rest of it would be able to go through uh, therapy together to um, uh, better be able to communicate, understand their emotions, and um, uh, set up boundaries and how they don't want to be talked to or bullied or possibly um, overly protected, focused on um, I, the, whatever it might be there, um, that could result in the children's and or family or so on and so forth, uh, the children making, um, themselves, uh, gain more trauma through, um, uh, incorrect or negative, uh, behavior towards themselves or others, or uh, vice versa with the, the family, friends, so on, um, that can result in um, this being uh, a thing that's going on in their lives. Um, also, uh, this, there is a significant survivorship bias which is to, to state in um, those studies where an individual uh, that believes that they were abused and traumatized, and, and it is, they are, um, is not showing the ones that did not believe they were not, you know, did not believe that they were abused. They did not believe uh, they are traumatized, and uh, if anything, believe it to be. Uh, uh, as a result of um, if any trauma or something else uh, is is going on from the family, police, whatever uh, is is there, um, trying to uh, in their in their view and perspective uh, help them to understand that it was wrong and bad and they got hurt and all those other things. Uh, which is gaslighting technique versus valid validating uh, their their feelings and emotions and thoughts, and explaining and 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 uh, uh, doing the best you can and uh, uh, having them come to understand your uh, view and perspective on the situation. Uh, as well as um, that uh, their view is valid in, in your mind and wanting uh, to understand why that they happen to view it uh, the way they do, but not uh, kind of guiding them towards your side, instead turning it into helping them uh, learn and grasp uh, the concepts and words uh, to fully express uh, their point of view and perspective and emotions and feelings and thoughts and all the rest of it uh, involved in uh, why and how and what and all the things involved in uh, their sexual situation that involved an adult occurred um, and uh, also uh, helping actually instead have the family, friends, and so on um, work through their anger and feelings I uh, would think might uh, come in of betrayal or um, genuine uh, full-on concern and, 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 and or even more of uh, daughter, sister, 
brother, son, whatever gender, you know, whatever this individual happens to have, uh, being that young, and uh, unfortunately, this this is uh, going to be um, something. Uh, if they feel they were traumatized or they feel they were not traumatized, that uh, is often, uh, ex um, especially when uh, the extra help is, is necessary to be able to process and, and handle and, and, and uh, greatly work through um, uh, their uh, emotions and, and, and so on. And, and therapy where they will um, try uh, to have the victim or every uh, person uh, that's involved with a, a victim or non-victim and so on, um, the perspective of the individual who uh, perpetrated the crime is what I have to say. Um, thanks to uh, the law being very black and white, even if uh, the, the person uh, who is a minor uh, feels as though that was uh, not um, done um, in any way uh, as a crime or uh, so on and so forth, um, in trying to uh, imagine and uh, try and uh, understand where uh, their mind might have been uh, such that they did these things um, or continue doing uh, these things to the individuals involved um, and why it is they might phrase and or say certain things to the individual, uh, in this case, the, uh, but they're believed to not be a victim. Um, um, and in such a way that uh, why that uh, the individuals that feel as though they are a victim um, believe it to be grooming and that they uh, do not uh, see it, think, feel, or um, have a similar mindset, uh, opinion, feeling, or any of that uh, with with themselves, and, and why they also um, are in agreement with the individual who did this, and and their mind with them, not to them, with them, um, and uh, where those the those feelings, thoughts, and um, uh, how that can be attributed, possibly, not every time, I don't know everything, I, I'm not going to, uh, but I would believe that they feel as though, um, uh, that uh, they understood the, um, and felt validated uh, by their by the, the person or persons that did this or did these things. Um, their feelings and emotions. Uh, I mean, their feelings and thoughts and um, you know uh, their general. Um, you know, life going on. Anyways, point is, you get the, the picture. They they felt as a um, instead of being manipulated and or groomed and or um, in some other form or fashion um, being uh, abused to believe that uh, it was acceptable and normal that they uh, actually instead felt um, that uh, they, they were um, being finally 
maybe. Uh, found uh, as 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 not being gaslit or invalidated or um, looked down upon uh, thanks to their age and not being able to understand um, what those feelings or urges or desires or wants and or so on and so forth uh, for the situations or other situations um, in their life also might have been uh, that could have been going on too um, and and that they they finally found a uh, in their uh, view and perspective um, safe and validating and encouraging and supportive environment um, where they would be able to uh, have a larger degree of individuality or expression of it, their selves, personality, or something similar. And there could have been other things going on as well with, um, since these are just suggestions and hypotheticals, I don't really know. I'd guess that um, it's possible that uh, um, they were willing uh, to put up with possibly things uh, that maybe they shouldn't have or um, you didn't understand that that was um, okay uh, with with them to, uh, for what was happening or going on around them. Um, a lot of this, of course, for, for myself, just reeks of like they didn't get um, really uh, validated and helped to see uh, um, and understand and uh, work on and process and uh, be able to communicate their uh, very real emotions and um, uh, other um, situations uh, for playtime or goals in life or whatever it could be um, in in their their home friends school whatever environment they were in and um, uh, didn't have a, a, a larger um, they didn't have enough, you know, where they might have felt um, safe to finally um, open up in an environment that uh, wasn't going to have uh, the judgment uh, happen and the blame and the shame occur and um, other very real, very extremely detrimental and uh, incredibly long-term damaging terrible uh, um, um, you know feelings uh, beliefs perspectives situations uh, conversations actions uh, going on and or have uh, occurred or believed were uh, also going to occur again later um, in such a way that uh, um, that it was um, fine with them or acceptable or whatever to push out on their own without the information that could have been a lot more um, useful than uh, just say no or um, an environment uh, that validated uh, uh, a lot of uh, them and um, their needs and or uh, likes or dislikes and also 
necessary um, ways of, of acting and, and respecting of boundaries for them to, uh, I'd say, pass trust, fully understand um, that uh, they were um, actually in a good place or environment and also could um, reasonably uh, understand even further it may have changed their decision to uh, have and or accept and or go through with that situation that it resulted in, in the adult and the minor uh, uh, having uh, the uh, sexual activity uh, occur or uh, which I guess, um, because legally I have to state that it, it is is a rape. Uh, although um, uh, the parties involved do not uh, see uh, it in any way as having been ever uh, rape or assault or molestation or grooming or anything. Um, but they may have switched over to your side. And that situation may not have occurred, and they felt as though they were not ready or uh, wanting or even curious, perhaps. And they had a, a safer and more um, satisfying or whatever uh, outlet that could be um, whatever uh, acceptable and so on and so forth. Uh, masturbation, art, uh, gaming, whatever it ended up possibly, or multiple uh, things of these outlets could be working together to uh, fulfill enough of that to where um, that they ended up feeling uh, more comfortable and more uh, desiring to... Um, try and put forth effort in that that regard later on older or uh, maybe not as much further down the road as you might think um, or they might actually still be in the, the same uh, mindset and belief and perspective and it's valid I don't care it's, uh, I would want I'm not a therapist I don't care what anyone says I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not any of that. Um, what I will say is I would want my therapist to validate my thoughts and emotions and feelings. Even if they seem, at least initially or continue to seem uh, later on, um, um, less knowledgeable uh, is what we would... That's not a good way to put that, because it's, that implies like that they are not uh, knowledgeable on their own emotions and thoughts and what uh, reasons uh, they, they had for um, going through and, and, and doing what happened if they so chose to um, participate this uh, way. I'll get on to the other scenarios later. This is just the one, of course. But um, I'd want a, a person to validate my experiences, thoughts, and emotions, and everything else. So it's like you, you have valid, you know, thoughts, experiences, and everything else. And whoever that, if they ever hear something like this or whatever else, I, uh, yeah, valid. It's valid. It's totally, um, you knew, you know yourself. I don't care what anyone fucking says. You know what you felt and were doing and wanting to do or were willing to do, or accepted, or so on and so forth. You, you understood enough in your mind, if you're telling us this, that, um, and even if you didn't fully understand everything like we do, uh, still felt it was acceptable and all that, and that every bit is equally is valid. That, that is what that is. 
I know that a lot of people would get extremely angry, upset, and feel as though I'm grooming and, and so on and so forth. Uh, but um, I'm just uh, telling someone that their uh, thoughts are reasonable and, and, and valid and acceptable. And, you know, uh, while some of these uh, things uh, that you feel right now might get looked at uh, later or soon uh, in a different perspective and or ha end up having different thoughts and feelings later uh, uh, as you continue to process everything um, or it might stay uh, stronger and the same and possibly end up having uh, the resentment, anger, frustration, invalidation, betrayal, and so on with your uh, friends, family members, uh, and uh, more happen and uh, get be, be uh, helping, uh, uh, no, not helping, uh, forcing on a uh, very real significant pressure, societal, peer, and so on pressure for you to uh, just say uh, what they want you to say and or feel what they want you to feel and and end up they, they might not end up um, in any way and they don't have to but uh, what, what that would be considered in, in my mind at that level of pressuring and, and so on is straight up bullying gaslighting and manipulative behavior that you might feel as though has a good intention and it's worth it and or so on and so forth uh, and while you might not consider it to be in a even remotely similar capacity um, and I hope that maybe uh, at some point you will if you hear this or or this gets brought up somehow, some way to someone through some other means, but um, that you uh, are also going to go and think about uh, um, your thoughts and emotions and feelings and their thoughts and emotions and feelings, and uh, maybe even change your perspective a little or completely. Is, is a thing statistically that's likely to happen to some out there and uh, with this um, so um, but this is to say uh, that that is literally a very likely to be at some point or another realistic reasonable to conclude it, it is happening or has happened experience for some uh, younger individuals out there in their lives that may be adults now or are only teenagers or even are actually still uh, uh, children, you know, you know, younger, whatever, and um, could be contributing uh, towards their... Um, uh, PTSD, drug use, uh, acting out uh, negatively behaviors, thoughts uh, towards others and or themselves, um, uh, as well as um, uh, more uh, possible um, behavior that uh, uh, has uh, the individual or another newer individual come into the picture and uh, this go on um, this time it uh, is different or the same it, it you know it, it's always what it is and they'll believe, they'll believe I'm sure uh, like others could probably imagine like they did in their teenage and or young adult lives when their parents yeah, seemed to invalidate and uh, also be overprotective um, ended up doing more drugs or 
going out and sneaking out to see their boyfriend more often or having sex more often with whomever a boyfriend girlfriend whatever the another individual and uh it not actually helping in any way that their parents siblings or others uh ended up uh acting and uh speaking i, I should say communicating uh between each other same thing with the friends and in fact it could end up very at some point or another very likely at some point or another it has occurred in which uh, the uh, uh, younger individual in question happens to be able to either convince or find uh, another individual uh, like themselves might be younger might be older might be same age um, and uh, set about um, participating in illegal and or uh, otherwise very uh, risky behavior uh, with um, trying to find themselves another adult or the same or um, whatever else it could possibly be. And uh, it does, uh, I, I believe, um, have a chance of stemming from um, uh, the people in their lives not giving credit and um, validity uh, to them, as well as um, trying to police and pressure um, the younger individual into behaving uh, in such a way and protecting them in such a way that uh, actually uh, backfires uh, so significantly it um, results in a uh, entirely in, in your view and perspective worse outcome um, in which they uh, will not count on in any way you being able to understand should um, they uh, result in uh, criminal charges uh, being caught um, having a, a very very real um, uh, significant trauma occur, or several, or an experience um, in which that uh, they are un very uncomfortable with, but uh, thanks to um, being uh, in such a, a mental state that um, even if uh, the um, caregivers or uh, siblings or so on um, in their life may have even directly pointed out could be the, the case and, or results in occurring uh, believe themselves to be different or better or it's uh, not actually what that was or is uh, um, goes on or is going on um, in which uh, uh, continuation for a significant degree of time of abuse and trauma uh, now occurs uh, which uh, their perspective would be that um, wasn't the case for the first, or whatever it was, uh, situation, and that uh, the individuals trying to help and or uh, care for them um, are uh, no longer uh, individuals that they would be able to go to for any help or believe uh, that they wouldn't 
just continue and increase their trauma and or negative experiences or um, have a uh, belief that they cannot allow for themselves, especially if it gets extremely um, significantly more worse than what I've described, uh, believe that um, it, it, it's not possible uh, for them to uh, reach out or have any conversations that don't result in further trauma and or uh, an increase in, in um, further blaming, shaming, and or uh, straight up uh, worsening of certain extremely negative behaviors towards them that uh, their abuse uh, in the situation going on is, is acceptable versus uh, the individuals that um, are likely to want them to reach out and uh, uh, have the situation resolved and, and then be in a, a better place um, and, and no longer being harmed uh, any anymore. Um, uh, so, um, and it can, of course, possibly cause them to end up viewing um, that there is no hope or help anywhere. They're invalid everywhere. And so suicidal ideation, drug use for escapism, or other forms of escapism with increased um, perm promiscuity uh, and, and sexual activity um, um, with, without real discretion or uh, care uh, for themselves or uh, what could possibly occur is, um, is also understandably, I think at this point, if this scenario uh, is going on or has gone on for um, some, um, and it is, 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 it's very possible to um, be something that they uh, might end up um, uh, have happen or occur or believe or feel or uh, similar uh, situation, uh, you know, thoughts like that, you know. Anyways, this is just one in which the individual could have uh, felt it to be acceptable um, where uh, and it, their sexual activity with an adult was uh, not a abusive, illegal uh, thing that um, is being... Uh, said and believed or and viewed as uh, th there are um, and that's a part of a, a study that has its own grains of salt okay um, and this is just one uh, singular situation because um, I think we can agree that it, it, there is no all across the board in, in every situation um, for uh, young and or adult individuals uh, and um, uh, these um, I want to be validating to uh, them uh, uh, the the uh, 
situations that um, legally are considered rape, but um, for uh, the persons uh, involved uh, have uh, the opposite opinion, and it was uh, in, in no way something um, uh, whatsoever akin to uh, assault, rape, or um, similar to this, um, but uh, I, I can see how with that survivorship bias in which an individual, or individuals I should really say, um, are uh, being watched that are fully believing and have been traumatized by their situation. Um, were the primary focus of the, the study and um, the resulting um, uh, talking points and conversation and narrative that was put forward uh, for, on individuals uh, that are uh, born uh, thinking and feeling without any choice in the matter. Um, and are, of course, highly persecuted and uh, with no outlets, very demonized and villainized uh, across the board. And uh, there can be effectively the same conversation of the black people inferior, they're not even really human, and so on, like in the past, for their conversations, trying to become free of uh, being slaves, you know, and uh, the same with uh, the LGBTQIA plus crowd, or rainbow community, or A through Z club, uh, it's, it's got a couple of different names, the A through Z club, I kind of like because it's like, oh, it's open-ended. It can be 26 different damn things. And I'm sure we can get numbers in there. Or like little, you know, like a capital and then like a couple of littles. You know, like A, like little A and then little A, B and little A, B, C. You know, it's like depending on how specified you want to get with it, I guess. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, just random thought, ADHD person here, um, but that they all were all at, uh, I shouldn't say all, but a, a damn good deal, especially the individuals that are in, um, you know, the uh, Gen Xers and, and, and older, uh, but uh, don't leave out those Gen Z or Gen, or millennials like I am, people either, and uh, where that uh, they were also uh, directly or in uh, so many other actions and indirect words and uh, phrases or so on, um, seen as, you know, basically not human or deserve uh, death, deserve no love or uh, all these uh, terrible things uh, in which they're not unless a particular individual uh, that I guess could be uh, stated that did all these terrible things and so on and so forth and so therefore um, could uh, be I guess felt uh, by many um, that uh, they are uh, um, to be felt of and thought of like uh, like that um, with any colored minority any religion, any, it's all based upon the individuals in, in, in question is um, what I happen to feel and believe and um, uh, uh, live my life according to, not um, based upon uh, the entire group as a whole uh, on average. Um, uh, typically, I go with the human race 
has a, a lot of shitty people, and I feel as though thanks to, um, unfortunately, a lot of bad uh, beliefs, uh, behaviors that are normalized, that uh, are um, incredibly abusive and detrimental, um, and invalidating, uh, and blaming, and shaming, and, like, black and white, all or nothing, all or nothing thinking, and, uh, not really having, uh, enough time, uh, to uh, get, uh, work done that, frankly, a lot, uh, of them are extremely uncomfortable with, uh, looking it up and or, uh, trying to uh, f uh, find uh, challenging perspectives, uh, in, in, to s that is to say, perspectives that are counter and uh, are um, uh, either opposite or near opposite or similar to theirs, but uh, with a different uh, belief and or uh, solution or result uh, of belief and perspective. Um, because of, uh, a lot of these kind of, uh, from, from my perspective and, and view, uh, the past, it used to be very often individuals at work and, or in social clubs or, um, of a similar uh, type of thing going on, and uh, the uh, congregation of these individuals and the small talk, and then uh, if they hit it off, um, r resulting, um, you know, hanging out and uh, socializing in a much smaller group and capacity, uh, resulted in a lot of these more nuanced and or uh, kind of uh, continuation uh, of uh, actions, beliefs, and, and whatnot, and uh, solidification of justification, and um, uh, for it to be okay and right to work together towards a suppression or um, help of uh, groups um, that they discussed or uh, other things uh, in that regard as well, like corporations, advertising, um, parenting styles, um, how they talk, how they act towards uh, each other and or their kids or their co-workers, and, or, go, so on and so on, you know, um, and the, uh, the advent of the television and movies, uh, significantly, um, started, uh, changing and playing a greater and greater role, more and more significant role in, um, the, uh, different things uh, deemed acceptable and or not, or uh, depending on the, what the situation going on was, uh, and uh, that uh, context uh, allowing for acceptable or not, and um, uh, while the TV and, and, and more happen to be a little bit more uh, pushing uh, or nicer, I, th I guess, ways of acting or whatever. Um, it didn't, and while it was talked about openly in their circles, you know, until they got maybe a one-on-one -on -one or whatever kind of group, uh, as if it was that was obviously what I think or the correct way uh, and, and I also 
agree and uh, I get kudos from the whole group and all that. Uh, but then behind closed doors, the racism and the misogyny and, and, and or uh, worse, um, uh, homophobia, uh, uh, talking about how um, it is the right way to uh, treat your wife or uh, kid um, with uh, acceptable types of violence or whatever, you know. Uh, uh, back uh, then and as um, time uh, continued uh, moving forward and I feel a lot of the uh, children became uh, a lot less um, worried about uh, their parents or siblings even um uh, you know, learning, uh, about, um, what they discussed with, uh, their own peers in school, or teachers, or, um, whatever and whomever was around at the time, and it kind of grew, uh, just like we all see, uh, now these days as well. A continuation of a new belief in thought and uh, not liking that their dad or their mom uh, did or said or whatever it was uh, they didn't maybe have the the words uh, and or phrases and or definitions and labels that we have uh, these days but um, I wouldn't doubt that uh, their views and perspectives could have been um, very similar or uh, very uh, much uh, barring the, the situation involved uh, almost uh, the exact same um, and so a new uh, gr grown uh, generation on uh, media and uh, more um, progressive views on the uh, um, supposedly um, whatever words used to, uh, individual minority individuals or women or uh, sexuality of uh, certain individuals um, and uh, uh, felt ex I would imagine uh, especially as they were you know, getting into the middle school, high school, college years, uh, far more accepting and uh, um, progressive and better uh, in, in many aspects than their parents uh, ever or could have ever been, uh, depending on the individuals, of course. But um, it, it, I, in that same vein, I, I have got to also s say that um, uncomfortable with um, going certain um, distances with um, payment or, uh, you know, acceptances or uh, I already did uh, that much or this much and what I do it's not acceptable for more or uh, whatever it uh, was or could have been uh, back uh, then. Um, and then, of course, obviously, the next Generation X uh, came on the scene with a further increased media uh, presence. And um, uh, the resulting, you know, uh, and un very unfortunate um, negative mental uh, problems and behavioral accept and and their day and or minds, uh, even if maybe uh, it wasn't as accepted or even acceptable uh, back then, uh, but their minds acceptable. Um, uh, communication, 
um, punishment styles uh, in terms of uh, physical and or verbal or otherwise, um, and and, uh, and more that uh, were uh, possibly or maybe um, if you were to average it out across um, like all the people back then in America could have uh, been um, uh, better than uh, the, the the boomers' parents' uh, treatment, and so um, they uh, could have seen it um, as a, a definite improvement, and they should be extremely grateful and thankful. Um, and felt uh, very invalidated uh, with um, their amount of, uh, for their perspectives, um, great uh, parenting and uh, change and style of parenting uh, towards their children in comparison to what they received, and I distinctly remember this uh, growing up with my uh, mother uh, as well and uh, say that any of you out there if, if, if it's say it in the comments or what, to yourself or out loud or whatever but uh, you may have been uh, said or told uh, that their parents uh, were so much worse and I never did any of that to you and uh uh, while you might not have understood it and uh, were in a highly volatile emotional state, uh, most uh, very validly, by the way, because uh, it was not um, the correct method um, for your uh, um, situation. And, uh, of course, anger, frustration, embarrassment, humiliation, uh, whatever, negative. And possibly a uh, perspective of some positive benefit uh, through their uh, parenting uh, style, punishment style, or uh, whatever else. Um, but um, my mother, I, just, I distinctly remember talking about her mistreatment uh, from her her father and and her mother, um, and even stated uh, that uh, apparently her father and mother both uh, got it worse than than her and her brother. And um, uh, at the time, again, I, I'm just going off of. Um, my own processing after the fact uh, when I could get the time to think about those memories it felt very invalidating to the level of fear and um, frustration and uh, stress and, and, and more that uh, she was causing me uh, with how she was uh, decidedly um, acting and uh, punishing, and screaming, yelling, more that was uh, going on um, with me and towards me uh, uh, and our family uh, in, in general. Um, and so uh, I can uh, see how Generation X um, are very uh, likely and possibly um, while might not understand or uh, grasp uh, the severity and level of um, damage and trauma and uh, significant uh, detriment uh, for their children's future or uh, uh, 
the family or even uh, their kids um, and parenting uh, their their grandchildren um, with how they physically punished mentally emotionally or verbally punished possibly sexually is uh, statistically likely in there as well, um, and or um, rewarded as well, um, and or uh, even um, uh, pressured and uh, heavily influenced uh, with even negative um, uh, negative uh, communication or uh, more um, than just communication uh, being uh, done um, to have uh, their children uh, possibly their minds might go to uh, because um, They'll be tougher, uh, have a better job, liked by others more, uh, whatever they uh, could have been or possibly is um, simply just something that they um, thought of um, to lie should there ever be a point they're asked or whatever for their own specific desires and um, reasons uh, that could be extremely selfish to uh, very altruistic uh, or any mixture and everything in between as well but um, and, and uh, the resulting reasons for why some people believe it was okay that they were spanked and uh, they turned out okay, um, or uh, that that blaming and or shaming and their family uh, is is the correct uh, way to communicate and or um, act uh, towards one another, um, and. Um, a lot of those other things that we are uh, currently trying uh, as a as a zeitgeist progressing, I think culturally and societally in America, um, together uh, to um, validate and uh, have understanding and and acceptance of our our pain and trauma. Um, and the resulting uh, very significantly negative issues uh, that occurred or are occurring later on in life or still are occurring, occurred then and are still occurring uh, alongside of um, individuals uh, possibly not uh, understanding that they are not fine um, in terms of uh, their possible actions or uh, communication uh, with or towards uh, others and um, uh, it uh, not being acceptable uh, to no longer uh, um, respect and also keep in mind uh, boundaries or um, other uh, very significant um, you know I guess bound just boundaries in a different way I, I, I suppose you know uh, like how you want to be communicated what you want to be um, uh, you know um, told for uh, your pronoun or your name or 
sexuality, uh, uh, it goes on and on, um, but, like, and invalidating the experiences of those, of every uh, buddy's, uh, you know, situation, and uh, thoughts and feelings they're in, and that they actually are uh, extremely and ex- much more than even extremely, I'd have to, to really say, but um, are extremely important uh, in, in every way towards, even if it's as small and as innocuous as not wanting to brush their teeth, as a four, five, six-year-old, um, and that uh, instead of getting angry or kind of shaming or bullying or blaming and saying that you need to do it because it's healthy or something similar, um, uh, having a genuine um, situation uh, occur where standing, sitting, whatever, but everybody gets a specified amount of time to talk express their thought, emotions, and feelings as to the whys and the wins and the emotions and feelings involved, um, which I know emotions and feelings are the same thing. I I guess emotions and and, uh, thoughts that are involved and uh, uh, what could be done and continued uh, moving forward uh, done by everyone uh, in this situation to have the outcome where they brush their teeth and um, uh, uh, that habit is formed and they're um, validated and um, also correctly um, able to show that uh, they can be trusted and uh, while also uh, that being the case, um, are uh, allowed mistakes, slip-ups, or other um, changes uh, that could result in them no longer doing it, and uh, another very uh, hopefully positive uh, uh, conversation Uh, happening uh, as to why and how and when and um, again the the what can be done and be uh, helped and supported and encouraged to continue a positive and uh, beneficial behavior and habit uh, for them uh, continuing forward for the the remainder of um, hopefully the the rest of their lives, but, um, uh, and that brings, brings us all back all the way to our point in time, you know, in which, of course, uh, we're only just starting to understand, um, how we're invalidating, uh, blaming and shaming, normalized to very aggressive and generalizing, uh, all or nothing, black and white thinking, false belief system, like a bunch of people believe this, so therefore it's true, um, uh, situations that go on in our everyday lives that we simply, uh, might not, uh, without, um, kind of it being sort of stated and or shown and taught, and uh, continuously worked on as a skill to uh, see them um, going on and and and, and uh, with their resulting um, issues or positives or negatives or uh, whatever may happen uh, happens and using that um, as a way to help. Uh, yourself and the others around you, um, hopefully not uh, ha- end up having a, a negative uh, or continually negative uh, experience or situations um, 
happen and or go on at all or continue, right? Um, and this is uh, all to say that the acceptance of the rainbow community uh, um, and uh, a lot of the uh, you know, women and uh, you know, colored individuals out there um, are uh, only uh, barely starting to get traction and a uh, I think hopefully this is, is, is true I'm, I'm actually depending on the month and or day or even year that, that has gone on um, this this belief uh, it has changed but um, that the majority of individuals are uh, more accepting and understanding and more compassionate towards the, those individuals and um, validating of their experiences and thoughts and um, uh, very real difficult obstacles or issues in their lives and uh, having a life that can be considered um, good and or uh, you know, reasonable like anyone else's uh, uh, and uh, uh, not uh, abused as, 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 um, and having to take the abuse and just accept it um, as uh, it was in the past but um, this is uh, where, again, unfortunately, um, after I hope expressing, well, be it, well, it was long-winded. It was to get the the point uh, across uh, that individuals have very real reasons and um, uh, situations that went on to have them believe. Um, and uh, use on any side it seems as though I uh, try and go on to the internet or uh, watch uh, some form of content um, uh, see them uh, use these these blaming and shaming communication styles or uh, abusive peer pressure, bullying, abusive peer pressure or societal pressure, um, uh, you know, uh, communication styles and or uh, grooming is maybe not the, the best way to say it, but uh, I don't like using the QAnon um, verbiage either in which the mainstream media quotation marks um, is uh, you know projecting and a narrative of um, a particular um, way of perceiving and thinking and feeling about a given situation or subject or overarching uh, things going on with uh, various communities or politics or uh, similar and often uh, is ex extremely extraordinarily extremely reductionist and uh, simplistic in how they present um, very real biases beliefs and, uh, you know, um, uh, valid feelings that they are uh, right in um, deciding, let's, let's go with politics, to remove uh, women's uh, 
uh, reproductive, um, uh, you know, individuality or rights or fundamental rights is really where I stand on that. I, I don't, because it's men or women, it should be fundamental rights. Um, we're obviously, uh, I, I, I very much feel, um, always to have from birth, um, you know, but, uh, re regardless, um, they're, of course, uh, raised and brought up and parented and, uh, supported and encouraged and reinforced in their beliefs, uh, um, through their, uh, general, um, you know, places they live and what's said there and, uh, you know, of course, their echo chambers, um, uh, we could go further into a uh, extremist uh, feminism or feminist view in which uh, all men are terrible, um, and that is a another version in which I I cannot accept that whatsoever, considering uh, that uh, there has to be someone out there that is a good man. I would hope, you know. Anyways, it's not very funny, but then it's kind of funny, because it is actually very much, uh, if it's not on line or uh, more out in the open, certainly uh, appears to come up, uh, like I was talking about in the past with the boomers, once their group of friends and uh, in a private setting are around each other and uh, then the obvious hatred and so on and so forth comes out. Uh, the word patriarchy is formed a lot. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's not totally incorrect. Uh, at all, uh, what I would say is um, that it's a lot less significant than it used to be, but still, that's no excuse, but more than anything, it would appear as though that there is a very distinct feeling uh, in our culture and society in America, the zeitgeist, that is, um, of which... Um, uh, even uh, with female, or I shouldn't say female, but generally speaking, individuals uh, view themselves to be feminine or, you know, a woman, you know, that uh, have um, a belief uh, that they seemingly uh, are less capable of of uh, great leadership, or less capable of um, uh, uh, certain jobs, perhaps, and as a result, uh, other individuals have to pick up their slack in their workplace. I don't know. I don't really want to get too far into it. That's 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 a general like thing that you have to sort of help um, individuals especially uh, these days with validating um, echo chambers anywhere it seems on the internet on the internet that you can go to and 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 have uh, something or another seemingly uh, vindicate and and uh, reinforce and uh, it's uh, just this us versus them, I'm hardened on my stance, can a situation occur uh, for their belief systems and or um, you know, their own personal philosophies or styles of, of, of life. And uh, on the flip side of that, I, I've seen similar um, occurrences for um, uh, individuals on the left end of the perspective uh, spectrum 
uh, go after uh, women um, with whom they believe. Uh, uh, there's terms like pick me girls, which means like pick me, pick me guy or whomever I'm trying to suck and simp up to. Uh, w- but uh, in that same context and vein, uh, it's acceptable for a male to uh, pick me, pick me, and simp for online, um, you know, uh, uh, identity of, uh, you know, f- woman or similar, I guess, uh, uh, you know, uh, streamer, influencer, celebrity person in their life. Um, and, uh, that's, that's okay, but, uh, if, uh, these, the, these women, uh, are, uh, deciding to do this, um, uh, there's a, a good, actually pretty damn significant, um, seemingly vitriol and remarkably even with the alpha bro, sigma male, whatever, you know, thing going on with men, uh, have a very real mean way of um, stating their uh, very extreme, again, it seems like, uh, hatred and insulting of intelligence, of a belief that they're inferior, uh, unintelligent, uh, groomed, uh, manipulated, brain, you know, like, just uh, extreme levels of invalidation and, and, and abusive, bullying uh, styles of communication towards uh, these individuals uh, that, that they do not agree with. Uh, their their way of, of, of life uh, they are living and with the people that are involved with them um, and uh, if, if uh, we're gonna be a little bit even more pointed or uh, fully allowed to um, and or more than valid, extremely acceptable and valid, and having their their uh, life and, and situations seen and heard and uh, uh, out there for individuals that may want to um, experience or attempt something similar or the same with someone in their lives. They consider um, uh, someone that they are either hoping or whatever is acceptable and um, that enjoys or um, is uh, accepting of and validating of of. Uh, them um, uh, uh, getting together and going through uh, their life together um, however many there may be involved in that um, relationship or situation uh, that's very likely to be there I don't know how much, but statistically, there's got to be more than a few, I would imagine. Um, and uh, that is not something that I feel as though these individuals that have a very extremely negative reaction towards uh, their living uh, a life and... Um, uh, situation uh, where they're okay and possibly even as happy or happier or whatever else 
um, as the individuals that are uh, angry at them for doing this, and 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 ha- um, showing that that they are uh, good. Uh, and um, uh, enjoying themselves, I guess. Uh, and uh, they're what they're doing, you know. Um, uh, it's it's just it's another. I'm uncomfortable. I don't accept that. I really don't like this, you know. And and I'm like, right. And again, uh, uh, validation of lifestyles is is a big part of um, our next, most likely, uh, Gen Z, Millennial, or uh, whichever next generation may come up, or the one after, will uh, heavily be uh, extremely different than we are, and uh, better at than we are uh, in in doing, and um, not uh, having the same level of extreme uh, reaction, um, positive and or negative, and hopefully we'll be a little bit more concerned about um, um, their specific individual situation rather than the group uh, as a whole and what's happening with them, um, which appears to be, uh, I, there's this YouTuber that did uh, whose name is uh, Chad Chad, who did a video about Pick Me Girls. And the title was so inflammatory, I couldn't watch it, because I uh, uh, essentially figured that that it would be a video disguised as entertaining and comedy or similar, but uh, if anything, it was just a bunch of bullying and uh, with some comments uh, thrown in that might suggest that it was okay or something that they were doing that or whatever and then it, it most likely uh, throwing on top of that because I call it a sandwich it's like hey you know maybe it was okay or whatever I don't know but then like they sure seem like this and this and this, and so therefore they're, they're uh, now implying that they're uh, very unintelligent or uninformed or something and uh, lesser than than the uh, individual uh, in the video and um, their beliefs and everything else. Um, so I, I couldn't really get through it. Um, it's effectively the same reason why I can't really get through a lot of right-wing, Republican, racist, homophobic, because it, it feels uh, basically very similar. Some of them do have enough entertaining or charming um, skills, you know, social skills, um, which is how they get enough people to watch them and possibly start thinking or feeling like them, and, and that's the influence of the, the influencer, and so while I'm not saying, because I didn't watch the video, Chad Chad did this, uh, I have seen uh, more than enough videos where individuals have uh, done uh, videos effectively um, like that, and were even uh, less, especially since the zeitgeist felt, um, or at least maybe they felt that uh, the majority of individuals would be okay with it, uh, that it was uh, okay to um, uh, push down, suppress, oppress, harm or otherwise uh, some of these individuals bully them or assault them or instead of having a real conversation um, with their viewers and themselves about their thoughts and feelings and where they came from and why they're afraid or frustrated or 
similar um, to the uh, directed individuals that are making the video or videos on, um, which could be incredibly helpful towards, uh, especially the, uh, let's just say, naive audience that uh, doesn't quite maybe understand their own emotions or thoughts or feelings or how to uh, understand their, or uh, even understand how to feel their thoughts and stuff like this. And uh, it could be a useful, helpful tool for them. Um, and um, it, it's it's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal. It's, it's a pretty big deal. Um, and, and I saw one, I have to call her out, because I, I do... Uh, consider a, a, a good deal of um, her videos uh, to be, uh, if not uh, highly informative, at least decently, uh, a good number of times, or if not that, uh, reasonably entertaining um, while also being truthful uh, about and of the situation. Um, going on and involved with the subject uh, um, she has decided to uh, make the video about. It's a kind of a mini, kind of like a John Oliver deep dive uh, slash documentary, I guess, on uh, various corporations or subjects. Uh, um, and uh, their, their username is Illuminati. Yes, with an uh, like Illuminati, but with like a N A U G H T I, and um, she did a. Uh, I still need to sit through the rest of it, but so far what I've gotten through, I'll uh, uh, give my um, thoughts and opinions and uh, crit critiques uh, on. Uh, a little bit, but she did a, a video on uh, minor attracted people or maps and what it meant and so on and so forth. Uh, however, I, I just got done explaining the generalizations and all or nothing and black and white thinkings that um, are too often used. And uh, it's rife with with so 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 many of them um consistently stating they need help in which there is legitimately actually no real help uh you know as a therapist um you might be able to see or uh in general not um uh, common we'll say uh, then on, on top of this, uh, not only are they not very common, uh, you still need to pay for that shit. You still need to take your time off of that that job you do. But, oh, but by the way, uh, it's effectively another cognitive behavioral therapy from what I've gathered, and, in which uh, they will recommend uh, finding an outlet and or a uh, place in which they can freely and comfortably uh, with validation and understanding and compassion and acceptance talk about uh, their feelings and emotions and um, other similar things like that uh, about their um, you know uh, desires, sexual urges and or desires or I know this doesn't sound good at all in any way to say, but I do remember uh, talking about how uh, sex is a necessary, especially intimate sex, is a necessary for our general health and well-being, mental health and well-being, um, a thing uh, for us. And, and humans in, in general, not every single one of us, but 
a good damn majority, I would say. And um, that uh, they're valid in having those needs, but society uh, deems uh, it, it to be uh, extremely wrong and, uh, you know, views uh, all of uh, them in the same vein as we used to view uh, various other subjugated and oppressed uh, groups in our country's history, uh, colored individuals, the rainbow A through Z LGBTQIA plus community, um, also our own thoughts and feelings uh, with our echo chambers online uh, versus the other uh, individuals um, with whom we uh, share a great passionate disagreement with uh, their beliefs, thoughts, lifestyles, actions, and so on uh, towards and make uh, significant and extremely uh, large um, concerted, concentrated, almost conspiratorial, as if they're genuinely meeting up, but it just seems as though it's not, it's more along the lines of a bunch of people see a bunch of people doing it, and so it's acceptable, and it's a good thing to pile on, and it's wrong not to, and um, the mob mentality has formed alongside of everybody kind of praising you for doing uh, this uh, good thing, um, and um, uh, trying to harm uh, their, this other uh, individual or group of individuals' thoughts, feelings, finances, or whatever it, it is, um, uh, such that, that they'll... Um, you know, I don't really actually... Uh, often have a good understanding of what their their uh, perceived um, uh, benefits or uh, possible uh, wanted uh, uh, results uh, um, are that they uh, would like to have happen after this situation occurs. Um, outside of, uh, that they immediately, I guess, do, um, whichever, um, uh, whatever the individual, uh, that's in the mob, I, I guess, um, uh, participating in, um, uh, this, um, against these other individuals, uh, specifically them more often, because I can't speak for the whole, but for me, I want them to do, or act, or be, or say, or stop, or whatever it is, uh, this way, that way, my kind of stuff, only me and my things, you know what I mean? Um, uh, while also not um, really providing uh, the necessary solutions and or plan of action uh, for uh, any of uh, those things and uh, resulting consequences or positives or benefits from this extremely real uh, bullying or negative uh, behaviors towards and communication towards uh, group or individual or so on and so forth uh, involved uh, are receiving uh, from this mob uh, which is is uh, more than just a mob, it's a, it's a straight up kind of narcissistic entity that uh, feeds on itself being morally, ethically, uh, always righteous and correct, while also uh, going after this other individual uh, and is uh, justified and it is incorrect and 
wrong to not do so. Um, on top of uh, that, they are better, and um, it is uh, obvious that these uh, other individuals are so uh, bad and uh, incorrect or whatever um, that it's uh, obviously the correct uh, thing to do to them since uh, they are this level of uh, bad. And, and, and to be uh, kind of pointed and direct about it, I myself have, uh, a, 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 after a certain point and degree of, um, um, you know, a level of understanding and, and or knowledge uh, and, and so on about a given situation or people or uh, individual um, come to feel a, a great deal if not exactly the same as uh, they do. Um, I've been quite normalized to it in my first behavior towards abusers, psychopaths, narcissists, sociopaths, so on and so forth that are literally people with, uh, in every way, intentionally, intentioned to intentionally uh, manipulate and control uh, their surroundings and situation and the people within to be effectively whatever the belief of them, and it's always that person is wrong, or this is bad, or uh, so on and so forth, and also on top of it, uh, genuinely make games out of ruining and or hurting the individuals or having sympathy uh, gained from them being disruptive towards that, you know, that kind of thing. And um, on top of genuinely situate themselves towards, uh, give me a second, I guess, take a sip of water. Being highly, highly destructive towards any kind of group environment in which they are not basically doted on hand and foot and, and, and more. Uh, so, uh, there's a little bit more to it, if I'm being honest. There's personality traits, there's levels of violence or manipulative uh, behavior uh, that goes beyond just lying uh, or, you know, uh, similar uh, actions. Uh, but Again, that's kind of the whole group mob mentality. Percentages of some of them are willing to do far more um, violent, uh, destructive, or uh, extremely um, serious things towards another individual in question that uh, happens to be the object of uh, hatred or individuals, uh, and which is uh, how justifications of um, racism, homophobia, pedophobic, and or more with men, and or so on and so forth, happens to start showing up um, uh, in ever increasingly tied together echo chambers. Uh, seemingly online and or in real life about these given subjects. Um, but what I'm trying to say is uh, I, it also referenced a child sexual abuse study, totally valid and everything else, that went on to say that after in no way stating uh, or even commenting on her all or nothing black and white thinking that children, no matter what, can never consent, can never have a good and, and not traumatic experience. It's So I just hopefully got to this part, uh, explained that it is possible, and we have seen it, and it does exist, they're just not placed and validated and... and uh, allowed uh, to uh, exist within uh, the studies being conducted 
often uh, times uh, consistently um, also discounting the uh, situation where they are actually now being traumatized and uh, and uh, abused by um, the um, you know individuals parents friends whatever uh, in their lives um, um, as a result of them not uh, acting and uh, allowing a difference of perspective and validating uh, their perspective and and uh, feelings and um, uh, beliefs uh, involved in, in, in their side of the uh, um, situation uh, and where uh, legally they uh, were raped and or are being raped uh, uh, however uh, they themselves and the adult uh, are of course um, in every way uh, not feeling uh, any abuse or rape or assault or molestation or any kind of uh, negative uh, is going on uh, especially not something that would uh, mean uh, police and authority figures need to be involved or whatever else I don't I don't know how else to express that their views are just that it's it's all good and um, that nothing should be felt or seen as as that. But again, um, that is one of those things in which, uh, unfortunately, uh, it can actually uh, be uh, a hugely. Um, significant uh, uh, variable and information within uh, those studies to such an extent that um, it would very likely greatly alter and uh, change um, the the uh, conclusion and results of the, the studies we have uh, uh, in terms of reducing the considered uh, amount of um, uh, negative traumatic or uh, uh, mental disorders or uh, drug use or uh, other things um, in these studies uh, they look at uh, which could drastically alter and change uh, people's uh, consideration and uh, belief uh, of validity towards uh, the very real valid trauma um, the, these children uh, who are uh, traumatized and believe they're traumatized and, and, and so on um, uh, are experiencing and, and experienced and uh, the uh, very real alteration uh, for their life moving forward forever um, on top of um, uh, I could see uh, individuals uh, becoming very anxious and, and stressed if not outright uh, terrified 
of the prospect and belief for it to be used as a uh, genuine uh, downplay of uh, the severity of the uh, individuals uh, perpetrating and uh, also are especially uh, non-remorseful of their uh, very real and very bad abuse and um, um, more uh, that uh, they inflicted and uh, are certainly uh, highly likely uh, to uh, pursue uh, doing it again and uh, or even uh, if it got to a worst case scenario turning a jury or a judge or whatever uh, or even the uh, uh, unfortunate uh, and and obviously um, highly susceptible to wanting uh, to uh, not feel the pain and and uh, fear and more they're going through uh, children that survived and or went through uh, whatever it was uh, that uh, was a extremely uh, negative uh, for them and uh, their situation. Basically, they, they got raped or fucking whatever. I was just trying to be delicate about it, but it's like they might actually be uh, so wanting to not have been uh, or uh, feel as though it isn't as bad that they'll uh, grasp at the genuine, at that point, grooming, manipulative gaslighting behavior of the lawyer and uh, individual who did uh, these things to them or uh, the singular individual possibly and, and on top of um, possibly family members uh, and or jury members or all of them um, also uh, heading that direction and that could be uh, highly concerning. Uh, it's also not uh, that to be the unfortunate, like, uh, uh, you know, guy that likes to uh, I feel head us towards and bring us back from the doom, gloom, and total worst case uh, scenarios, or uh, continuing on t with something um, in which is statistically, at one point or another, has happened or going to happen, um, but uh, is, I feel at least, in, in this context and vein, in which there is very real obvious um, non-enjoyment, non-consent, non-anything uh, any, that is whatsoever to indicate uh, something in any way what could ever be uh, to be believed uh, any non-insane and rationally uh, put together, or at least, uh, whatever, logical, you know, just someone that isn't just very too far out, um, of, um, 
things going on around them, if not possibly uh, very easily persuade and or uh, made to believe uh, in um, something that is um, without any amount of uh, reasonable or valid enough or logical or that kind of thing, you know, evidence or even more than than that, I don't want to get too far into it because it's, there's also like emotional arguments, there's also personal beliefs arguments, and then you can, there's also <coughs> philosophical beliefs arguments that can coincide and tie in with all of that. And then there's even uh, some unfortunate uh, scientific uh, theories or hypotheticals that can uh, kind of try and bolster uh, uh, arguments that are uh, less than logical uh, at, at best, um, or at least uh, should be acted upon in such a manner uh, where... Um, so as to not uh, uh, cause detriment to uh, yourself or others, you continue acting as uh, normal, um, even if it is contrary to the thought or belief you may have. Um, and, uh, you know, continue uh, forward uh, that way. Uh, anyways, I'm trying to get at is that uh, that is a extremely, extremely valid, but still very worst case, extremely worst case, like, everybody's, got, and they got off scot-free, I'm like, uh, with, like, all of, and the, the child here, uh, in, in every way, not consensual, I, I didn't like, that, whatever it was, right, and there's, there's a, you know, physical, or, whatever, you know, evidence, uh, on top of, like, whatever, okay, we got the whole thing, and then they still, it's, it's extremely unlikely, we're talking extremely unlikely, okay, and, and it statistically could uh, happen, um, sometime eventually, but it's, it's very unlikely, it's extremely unlikely, and so let's reel that back in um, instead to the fact that uh, the individual is very, uh, very likely to just try and plead guilty and uh, hope for a reduced sentence um, as a result, uh, even if uh, the adult and child in question are of an agreement in which uh, nothing uh, non-consensual or traumatic uh, in any way or abusive, manipulative, or so on and so forth occurred. Uh, uh, and um, that is um, the, the black and white of the, of the law. Uh, and and uh, where I start to have my, uh, of course, misgivings and issues um, with that, uh, especially and um, call me a you know idealist or you know too too hopeful and and uh, so on for my own good, but firmly uh, do believe it to not only just be uh, possible, however, extremely vitally necessary for us to help our children, teenagers, young adults, and ourselves uh, in growing our um, understanding, compassion, and, and acceptance of others uh, around us, uh, as well as our very lackluster, poor communication skills towards ourselves and each other, 
all alongside of our a very lackluster uh, emotional understanding of our own emotions and the uh, skill required uh, and time it takes uh, to become uh, good at it to recognize and uh, sympathize and or empathize uh, with another individual's very valid uh, emotions and uh, reach a good communication in, in which adult, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter age here, in which they are able to uh, reach a point as to uh, understanding and, and, and uh, 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 going from there um, uh, each other's and each own individual emotions on top of the other person or other persons involved uh, uh, emotions that uh, hopefully they are able to articulate and communicate uh, effectively uh, to uh, all the other individuals involved um, and uh, have a respectful and um, constructive uh, conversation and discussion of how to proceed in a uh, positive uh, manner uh, where and the uh, parties involved all uh, ultimately are able to uh, um, get accomplished whatever needs to be accomplished or boundary set or uh, goal and, and work towards and, and so on for the future uh, and, and, and all that is, is, is the uh, hopefully better and more uh, often happening outcome from all of us uh, becoming more fully aware of ourselves and uh, treatment towards others and uh, communication and, and more. Um, now, see, this is where uh, the, the, the study that I talked about with Illuminati that she brings up on the, uh, the map uh, video she did, I, th I think it was in 2020 or 2021. Um, uh, and uh, I had some issues uh, with it. Um, again, uh, it, it reeked, or at least very heavily, uh, from my perspective, uh, seemed like almost a parody of a um, uh, right-wing Republican or uh, something like that individual doing a uh, big old pseudo-scientific, uh, seemingly reasonable for the individuals that they're, uh, you know, making this video for the crowd that they're making it for, um, and uh, how and why it would be uh, obviously all these terrible wrong things to accept homosexuals or transsexuals or pansexuals or uh, so on and so forth, or right black people, or co any colored, or any of these religions not related to their own, um, and or philosophies. Uh, as 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 well, well very likely uh, so um, even with their well, black people uh, have a lower IQ overall than us and it doesn't examine the highly stressful uh, uh, you know violent physical mental emotionally abusive situations and or um, Areas in which they grow up with a uh, not equivalently equipped 
and funded uh, school system uh, and teachers uh, as well, which I, I know this sounds not so nice to point out, but are often not ones whom uh, would be allowed or accepted in uh, quote-unquote nicer areas you know, that have a higher property value, I guess, um, to uh, straight up uh, allowing uh, some of them to continue way too long after uh, very incorrect and negative situations, bullying, assaults, sexual even, yes, uh, occurred or are occurring or did in the past, stuff like this, um, and, uh, you know, those are, those are their teachers they, they have and are allowed, and, oh, by the way, on top of that, the, uh, higher stress and, and, you know, lower, uh, at, in, in some instances, amount of, uh, sleep, necessary sleep, necessary nutrition, necessary care and love and attention provided to allow for uh, a level of um, critical thinking, memorization, and uh, other, you know, um, skills uh, are more able to stick around and develop uh, even more than they would otherwise with, without it, which is a scientifically proven, it's good science, it doesn't leave out a lot, uh, you know, thing that goes on with us as individuals, um, or more likely uh, especially with uh, the lack of opportunities, money, generally seen as uh, bad, inferior, whatever it is, um, towards the individuals uh, on XYZ Street that happens to be the one where it suddenly goes into becoming a good neighborhood or place like that. Um, and uh, the resulting conclusion is an IQ test that directly calls out and points out how the racism of our boomer and the, their parents and the Gen Xers happened to contribute to a increasing violent and uh, less intelligent, uh, you know, but all equal in every aspect um, group of people living in our country that were simply allowed and concertedly together uh, persecuted and oppressed and suppressed in, in, in life and uh, the uh, very obvious real harm and negative terrible outcomes that have uh, resulted uh, from that um, and uh, oh what do you know also it's uh, a similar story for that's right especially in Republican and or more conservative states or counties with people that identify and they can get the records for it I've shown that um, the LGBTQIA plus community is another community in which it seemingly suffers a higher degree of uh, violent or self-harm behaviors on top of a reduction of overall IQ scores. Um, and increased incidences of uh, uh, within their community and population uh, 
being raped or raping drug use uh, and um, a few others that I don't I think I should go too far or too in depth with but um, it's just going over test scores, IQ scores, uh, people that uh, uh, have identified or come out and we're willing to allow for those records to be um, accessed and then averaged out with, um, of course, names and, and so on uh, not added into the study. So that way they'd be able to, along with their patient histories, it seems, uh, or also added in for their levels of PTSD, depression, uh, and, and more, um, being more likely than uh, the general population um, they were testing against uh, appeared to um, have going on with them. Um, and what do you know, what do you see with uh, individuals that are pedophilic, hebophilic, ebophilic, um, or have bestiality, uh, you know, traits, they, they prefer animals, or similar. It uh, appears as though it's a uh, similar situation, um, but more manifested itself uh, later on in life. Uh, again, with the emotional fallout and the sudden realization that they didn't change and grow to like people their own age or older. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, unfortunate instances in which they, uh, unfortunately express these views towards, uh, individuals they thought were, uh, people, uh, they could, ex you know, ex express their every bit as valid as anyone else's thoughts, emotions, and more towards, um, and, uh, hopefully get non-judgmental advice or acknowledgement and validation, uh, back, uh, from them. Um, much, again, similarly to other communities, I literally just got done with and through talking about, um, because, uh, again, that's another reason why I find a lot of, uh, this, uh, and these communities, uh, to be similar in, in regards to um, their situations and their current goings on and we're currently sitting through uh, what is a, a very obvious um, hatred and oppression of a minority group that is uh, accepted by uh, the, the standard status quo uh, zeitgeist of our cultural society and uh, ig ignoring and uh, invalidating uh, perspectives and also uh, other evidence that seems to, uh, almost as if it's a conspiratorial effort, but it's, an, it's not conspiratorial, although some, some, some of it is, turned out just like, uh, yes, those other communities I, I talked about, some of it is conspiratorial, uh, and um, obviously working towards uh, a very obvious and significant um, invalidation of, removal, uh, uh, um, uh, helping or brainwashing or grooming to uh, seek uh, for uh, the average individual to believe and uh, see and feel as though these individuals are 
so nothing inferior or whatever even more than this possibly that it's correct and justified and uh, actually wrong and evil to not participate in harming subjugating and oppressing them um which is uh, and figuring out uh, solutions in, in in which where they Instead of our being accepted and validated and allowed to uh, be their uh, sexual identity or gender identity or, you know, uh, seen as, regardless of skin color or religion or so on, um, the same as anyone else, um, They provided solutions and where, in which where it is uh, the removal of their their faculties uh, and and minds. Uh, homosexual and other individuals uh, at various points in American's history uh, have either chemically castrated. Con trying to convert again with hormonal and or uh, other forms of uh, very extremely traumatic and torturous uh, quote unquote uh, supposed therapies uh, in which they um, alongside of ceremonies uh, akin to um, exorcism or uh, similar to remove and change the uh, very unwanted seen as uh, justifiable and in killing uh, individuals uh, um, to uh, specifically what it is the uh, people doing this wanted them to like and behave like uh, on top of it literally being that or uh, death and uh, all the resulting uh, possible other things they could maybe do to them as well. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back.
until that's done. But uh, if you were also thinking while I was in there taking a break and peeing, how uh, them uh, going online and talking uh, to other individuals like themselves uh, is a scene in a bunch of fear and uh, condemnation for doing, uh, even though that is legitimately a uh, well, not talked about uh, sometimes uh, suggested avenue of um, approach for dealing with um, their urges and, and, and uh, thoughts and, and more. Because, you know, nobody really thinks about them or validates them or anything. And even in their own community, it, it obviously... Um, not super prevalent as as well so uh it's it's kind of similar about the meetings and the goings on uh behind the scenes or in <coughs> you know uh places where <coughs> uh minority colored individuals could meet up and discuss what they were wanting to do for their their next vote, or town meeting, or uh, uh, the, the neighborhood uh, goings on, and it was uh, genuinely frowned upon and thought of as uh, uh, something to be afraid of for a lot of uh, white people, uh, racist white people more than anything. Uh, if, uh, well, unfortunately, also uh, sometimes uh, not even racist ones, because uh, it just they didn't know any better um right and uh when they were uh expressing that why shouldn't they have the same right to meet up and and talk and and as a group like us uh i'm, I'm sure they were obviously bullied and looked down or, and then you know uh silent treatment and more um for doing these things or uh, told and gaslit that it's different because uh, they're not like us and we're better or special or whatever it is. And uh, therefore, it's okay for us, but not for them. Uh, a similar thing is going on with uh, uh, guns and gun control uh, in various states across the country when black people or, you know, uh, other colored uh, individuals express and um, uh, exercise their their rights uh, to bear arms and the Second Amendment. In fact, even also on top of it, uh, the LGBTQIA plus community too. So take that for what you will. Um, and uh, obviously they are... are uh, individuals that also uh, grouped up and talked about things, and what do you know? What do you? What do you same for for women uh, back then, and actually still doing it. I haven't stopped, but it used to be like a lot less legal for the, for people uh, that are maybe not realizing that I think it was like legitimately legal in certain some places. For women, without the escort of a man, to in any way meet with other women and discuss anything, and to also have a male uh, present and engaged with uh, the conversation, and to be able to vouch for them uh, and all that, which is legitimately a, a, an actual thing. Um, if you didn't know, no, now you know. That's a not often talked about part of our American history. Uh, so that's a, that's a whole thing. But what would you know? It's effectively the same for um, these minor attracted people. Um, like legitimately, chemical castration, torturous means... Oppressed, suppressed, and uh, by every account uh, seen as inferior and to bring up any possible uh, thing and which it uh, calls out a 
obviously hypocritical or double standard or possibly invalidating or hey how about uh, um, the obvious which was uh, there there are obviously things we could be doing better with our public school teaching and uh, within our homes for parenting um, uh, ourselves on top of our children um, as we are not perfect and it is a everyday constantly maintained skill to have the ability to um, help prevent yourself either directly by yourself or uh, another party uh, there uh, for um, reducing and uh, allowing for uh, yourself or the other person to um, not overreact, judge, and um, uh, hopefully takes uh, enough time uh, for themselves to um, be able to do all their emotional and uh, mental, uh, you know, processing uh, for um, the uh, given uh, subject, task, whatever it is at hand going on or is about to, um, and it would better serve to uh, reduce or outright uh, remove the uh, number or significant uh, violent or bullying, validating, you know, just, uh, I don't know if it would be removed, but I guess in certain situations it, it's very possible for it to, um, but uh, it would greatly, I feel, reduce our, um, <clears throat> you know, likely less than ideal and or even uh, correct uh, ways of responding and communicating uh, uh, with each other uh, um, and uh, having a validating uh, discussion and uh, um, also um, uh, plan uh, if not understanding and uh, uh, allowance and acceptance of uh, those uh, differences or um, uh, perspectives, of, of course, uh, or uh, the uh, decided upon situation uh, to be acted and or worked on moving forward uh, with everyone uh, involved. Um, if we just don't really have the time, and uh, I think we set up our our whole darn overall uh, society and zeitgeist around fast, fast, now, now, I'm right, and uh, I see it like this, and that's just the, the way it is, and uh, to back down or change... Uh, thoughts, our thoughts, our uh, opinions, or beliefs, or perspectives, or philosophies, and or even more in terms of our uh, reactions and uh, actions moving forward can be taken in a context and perspective uh, that means uh, to be um, weak, ineffective, wrong, or similar uh, in, in concept or scope of, of feeling, and so, so the resulting individuals that uh, may be backing up one or more individuals, or the money that 
might have come from them, or likes and views, or uh, uh, all the, the, the rest that uh, they are uh, too, in terms of personal life and uh, finances and, um, you know, the ways you get treated um, after the fact for making a stand or saying something against um, what is uh, held as, um, even if it is not uh, considering uh, a lot of uh, other things uh, that are there for sure or could be there for sure as well and um, the uh, very real desire to remove the humanity and the person that is there which most are people and individuals who will never hurt someone, rape, assault, molest, or otherwise, um, at all, as uh, having no uh, validity and uh, literally should not at all be allowed uh, more than uh, pure hatred and uh, obvious uh, concerted effort uh, from all to um, harm and dissuade and subjugate and oppress and remove any and all opportunities uh, for a safe outlet or acknowledgement of uh, them being people who just had feelings that were unacceptable by the group, which is America's culture and society. Uh, although it's, uh, if, again, um, to be talked about, I guess, since I'm talking about it, I might as well, it was quite acceptable for the majority, in fact, a a damn good majority of America, and the majority of, uh, a good, a decent chunk, past the 51%, we'll say, um, uh, of its time, uh, it has been a country, um, uh, for it to not only be acceptable, also to be um, supported and encouraged uh, so long as um, um, the people involved uh, are in a good situation or uh, relationship or whatever, where uh, teenagers or, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I'm going to have to still add in, at times, yes, teen, and, uh, we're not the youngest, children are, uh, allowed to marry and or, uh, become involved with, uh, individuals. Often, very, very, I will interject here, even for my own damn self, very much more likely for it to be a man on a girl, um, but uh, it's not the only thing, it was just what was deemed more uh, appropriate for the time, um, and uh, then that seemed to change around the turn of the 19th century. Um, alongside of some other movements in our country in the mid to late 1800s, trying to uh, add amendments or alter the Constitution, 
uh, thanks to the monopolies uh, and their damage to uh, the, a lot of people, um, as in the, the workers for these, these monopolies, and the uh, re resulting distrust and felted, felt needed, felt needed oversight and or uh, otherwise um, something to uh, allow for a uh, reduced corruption uh, going on um, and or uh, alongside of the money that is uh, you know, for taxes uh, and uh, all the rest to be uh, more hopefully correctly uh, given and made available f for what it was intended. Um, but uh, on long side of that and on top of that, uh, there was a very significant resistance and um, growth for uh, a lot of these uh, religious individuals uh, most often consistently um, uh, were uh, conservative and possibly you could say extremist they'd be extremists in our view now I feel maybe not so much then but uh, you know views and then that of course, on top of the fact that everybody in America, more or less, were very highly um, persuaded and influenced by uh, by that this particular religion uh, along this point in time, and um, regarded it in extremely high importance. Uh, so much so that. Um, you started to see a uh, significant change in uh, the allowance of uh, homosexual males or females marriage because yes, they actually while maybe not officially but uh, certainly it was performed and all the rest of that allowed and accepted in communities um, in various areas, um, and then on on top of it, there was a, a great shift towards uh, because women were becoming more independent and more viewed uh, as equivalent, capable as the male uh, counterparts, uh, you know the other gender, um, and alongside of. Uh, transsexuals, uh, uh, all the rest of it, uh, it's not extremely brought up in public history school lessons, I mean, it's public school history lessons, that is, um, however, there is a uh, seemingly decent amount of evidence of a great deal of this being uh, done, occurring more, and accepted more, and uh, I don't uh, really quite know, I'm guessing it's uh, like all the other t things that have ever occurred in history, and a possible significant progress uh, might end up being made enough fear and enough letting things slip through the cracks, not enough effort, and other issues uh, kind of all happen to hit at seemingly good enough times, I wouldn't say perfect, but good enough times to significantly alter and drastically reduce um, this uh, going through and um, 
being viewed as the more acceptable um, way of, of, of uh, living and allowing and, and, and tolerating and all the rest of that. Um, around the turn of the 19th century is when the woman uh, movement toward getting our uh, you know other half of our species in America uh, the right to, to have an equal say and, and a voice and, and what was going on in the, in the country around that time it was also significantly especially since the conservative movement was a part of their movement and other certain sexual uh, beliefs of like what should and shouldn't be allowed and so on uh, started significantly being um, added into with a great deal of um, um, importance and uh, stress being put on them. Uh, around that time is uh, surprisingly when this one goes off of journals. So you'd have to go through a great deal of people's journals that or diaries that they wrote and they gave away. But uh, a lot of talks about uh, not liking the idea but believing it it was necessary to allow for uh, the cohesion of everyone um, to get that the, the right to vote to um, accept uh, them having less rights for uh, their um, who they have sex with, when they have sex with, uh, they're allowed because uh, they had their own birth control methods, if not extremely effective or uh, non fatal, and so on, um, still known and used. And so it was highly expressed. Um, their displeasure and, and um, removal of support should uh, whatever like that be brought up and allowed and codified uh, on top of um, around that period of time uh, similar to um, myself pointing out this earlier uh, obviously very well-meaning and uh, um, intelligent, so on and so forth, individuals and uh, a further, more progressive side of that, that fence uh, also started targeting the reasons are, I don't give a shit, honestly, I'll be real with you. Um, a few of them were You know, just like dislike that someone said something, or that they're because again, women's worth and value at the at the time back then, especially, was tied into um, uh, looks and their overall usefulness in their their home and house and uh, all the rest of that that goes on with that. And so uh, it's not an, a very uncommon occurrence to mention it, uh, while not directly stating, but some do, um, their displeasure of uh, the younger, uh, apparently more whatever jealousy included adverb, adjective, uh, you know, 
girl teen um, happens to be mentioned whatever with their husband or some other person that is a uh, male uh, talking about stuff like that which would have been uh, far more acceptable back then than uh, ever now um However, that did not directly contribute towards certain things. Um, it would appear as though it was a way that the women at the time seemingly bonded together over a hatred, uh, or jealousy, shared something, whatever, of... Uh, um, and under the guise, uh, which uh, was stated in a few of these diaries and so on, uh, talked about using um, protection of these uh, frail, know-nothing, can't be taught, and uh, so on. Um, younger girls um, and uh, their need to have a vote to further solidify their voice and their feelings um, towards the age or um, allowance of a uh, them for uh, you know sexual activities um, it's not extremely massively everywhere I'm not stating it is it's a few things that I happen to chance upon randomly so good luck with that one you know, um, I wish I could remember even any of the names, or you're talking to an ADHD individual who has a lot of random time on his hands, and will just, whatever, doesn't matter, point is, it's like, there's some stuff there, there's some, there's some, there's some stuff there, um, that, and, like, knowledge of, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, not okay to rape them, and but they can withhold uh, sex and have an ultimatum for, you know, like, they, they know what they were doing, you know, like, they, they knew how to best try to use their uh, little power that they had back then um, to try best to gain more for themselves and for the people to come for the and in, in, in the future uh, later, um, and obviously worked a great deal with a lot of men, uh, a lot of whom I'm sure uh, had quite a few of their own thoughts and feelings on. Uh, ages, ranges, age ranges being okay, or, um, the, the, what should and shouldn't be accepted, and, or, uh, various religious, you know, stuff, and so, um, it was not too long after they gained the right to vote, um, there were, uh, public service announcements, advertisements, and uh, other similar things um, that started coming out in uh, the everyday or uh, close to everyday media, um, either TV, radio, some of them were various other things for magazines, I forget what they had, but like basically, you know, that kind of thing, and, um, they're not extremely prevalent 
or in your face or even everywhere. They started becoming more and more there, but then they kind of seemingly dropped off. And I mean that rather quickly. They dropped off rather quickly. Like they, they were there, and then it seemed like they just disappeared. And uh, you can't really find uh, anything um, with that subject, or even a possible hint of that subject there. Uh, I, I believe it's because there was a significant generation or two that was alive and around when it was far more acceptable and um, okay uh, and, and taught and so on um, uh, that um, clearly was uh, not happy about that and uh, still held a great deal of uh, power and sway over uh, that. Um, and a lot of times, I, I'm sure someone would have had to have discussed it, like I have, maybe not quite as, uh, with this, the same words or whatever, but that um, it is a very likely, um, an acceptable subject that can be taught to a decent and acceptable enough, valid enough degree that it wouldn't have um, been seen um, as a, as large, I guess, for, because not every single version that they ended up, you know, um, and not every single man or, or woman um, was a good person. You know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, that's just not how that's going to work uh, ever, or statistically in any way. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it, on top of that, it was probably somewhat likely, even though media, movies, all this other stuff, um, oftentimes portrays it far more like our, uh, ideas in the 21st century about uh, this, um, and, uh, the way, uh, it's acceptable or talked or treated or, you know, te- you know, all that stuff with, uh, kind of putting the onus on the women, but then, like, kind of not being comfortable with, uh, some of it, but it's like, I don't, uh, see that being in any way accurate to what the situation, uh, was likely to be, considering, um, you know, it, it, they, they were fairly independent at the time from what we were, we have historical records on, you know, um, they were taught uh, about a lot of things that were necessary for either their ranch or their farm, uh, or if they were lucky enough to be in a city that uh, gave them free school, if they weren't in a factory working. So, uh, the general opinion and just that I get from a lot of the time, a lot of the, the, the people and feelings uh, of children uh, uh, were of that they were uh, almost uh, effectively adults. Um, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, if not, uh, not seen as the possibly, that's the perchance question mark, um, correct way of raising or treating them, but you get the picture for the people at the time, um, so, um, but, uh, especially with the progressive nature 
I highly doubt that it was a non-conversation quickly talked about and then they just got married or had sex or some shit. Um, I wouldn't doubt they wouldn't have had the same amount of... Because it's, it's, it's a similar situation where this wonderful psychologist or uh, someone did a study when he was in college or something similar about the sexual identities of uh, people in, and they're in the bedroom as well, but they were likely to do once the door was closed and the lights were off and um, the individual wasn't their significant other. other. And it uh, turns out um, it wasn't uh, very unlikely... Let's put it this way, it was, it was a good chance they were going to cheat on on their significant others in, the, in that room and do things apparently sexually that they didn't with their wives or husbands. Um, and uh, so if you think about it with the church versus at home and a curious kid asking questions about the goings-on in the bedroom or what the, they should act or do, so on and so forth. Uh, while in the church, they are likely to uh, say to everyone else there that uh, tell them no, abstain, whatever, right? You know, whatever. Um it was very probable that many were not uh, going to follow that and and straight up tell their children uh, whom they uh, seemingly consistently on average uh, felt were uh, at least old enough or mature enough to have that information provided to them uh, that early on, uh, likely in a less than gentle or gentle for their time uh, way and style. Um, so a lot of a lot of kids, a lot of children, most likely uh, knew uh, at least enough, and uh, whatever else could could be there. To know what sex was, is, and um, what to do should they not want it or not like it, how to get out of it or say, you know, what it, that kind of thing. Because uh, girls, especially, didn't have much power and authority and control. So I, I really doubt that their their moms didn't tell them as much as they could uh, based upon just straight up you need to know this in case something happens kind of shit um, and likely uh, the, the, the boys too you know because gay men still existed that were predators and could conceivably try and convince quotation marks a not wonderfully accurate word I guess really coerce and entice a unsuspecting boy into getting raped more than anything, you know? And so, it's possible, at least in my hypothesis, that a, a good enough deal of them had a larger understanding than we might uh, believe them to have had uh, based upon some of the records and historical evidence uh, that we've found. Um, likely the case being, uh, you know, embarrassment or belief uh, wrong to talk or discuss or treat them as though uh, they should... Uh, be allowed to learn or know about it or 
whatever else. I'm sure there's a myriad of different psychological, uh, emotional uh, baggage reasons for not really writing it down uh, too often or at all in their diaries and journals, or really it coming up in uh, really any town or even city history, considering that was likely to be a one-on-one -on -one conversation with dad, mom, or both to a child that uh, may have come to them um, talking about this adult that they uh, getting married to or going off to have a day or a night or something. I don't know, man. Like, that's... It, it could be very likely they were allowed and seen as um, uh, appropriate to go and do. Um, now, how much of that I... We only have a so much information, so unfortunately I can't say one way or the other, but logically, historically logically, for what the zeitgeist and belief and, and understanding uh, and, and so on was of the relationship of the people involved, it's, it's very likely that um, it was at least not uncommon. And that's um, at least logical sounding enough to where I wouldn't feel uncomfortable to uh, say that that is um, at least very possible to be uh, more true than not. I, again, other individuals out there and again, the records that would uh, say something about them doing something like this, in, in which uh, it's obviously by their church and uh, condemned, blah, blah, blah. But if you look and see and view how they went about their lives, uh, treated children, and uh, the, the fact that uh, predators and... Uh, and um, all the rest it still sticks around. It, it didn't just disappear because you went back in time. Gay people still existed. Black people still existed. All of that still existed. And so, um, and it is obviously quite clearly seen and viewed uh, in a, a lot less terrible and negative overall um, than it is now. Um, and uh, very likely uh, had it their own uh, types of um, sussing out and uh, figuring out if the uh, adult in the situation was uh, likely to uh, become uh, a person whom uh, traumatizes and abuses the child or uh, was a little bit more on the up and up, you know, not so abusive and manipulative and so on. Um, I don't know. It's, it's likely that the parents were involved, you know, not just telling the children, you know, it's very likely that the, ch that the children and parents together were involved, and uh, that whatever situation that came of it is what happened, so um, that's why I can't totally rely, uh, again, on something that isn't even stated, and very many statistically it has to be brought up somewhere 
um, and their diaries and, and so on and so forth. The correspondence, sure. Uh, on, on top of logically and reasonably enough of a hypothesis of an assumption, or an assumption, whatever you want to call it, because it's a decent enough hypothesis. And there's a good uh, willingness, I feel, from uh, people that know their shit and could do the, the necessary digging around and uh, and so on uh, that would be willing to treat it like at least a psychological societal theory uh, for the individuals um, uh, at the time and uh, what they were uh, very obviously just like us in our 2022 time, or as this is being recorded on November 9th, 2022, um, also do and get embarrassed and uh, lie or don't say things that we definitely think or did do or did say. Um, and even though the internet is uh, quote-unquote forever, it's, it's really not. And uh, things do get lost, although it's less than it used to be, but within the overwhelming amount of content, it's, it's easy enough to have something disappear. Um, not so much that it isn't there, just that it's very likely that it wasn't viewed or seen or whatever a lot or so on and so forth um so anyways moving on it's like around that beginning of the turn of the 19th century uh a lot of attitudes um and um wishing to pursue uh an ever greater amount of um, power and influence um started going into uh, having our children, rightfully so, by the way, no longer work these grueling conditions and hours and get a good, effective, proper education, in which a great deal of corporate, you know, corporation owners, CEOs, so on, and families as well, relied upon for food and uh, water and uh, more their effort in doing this on t top of uh, a genuine uh, um, while it might not be right or okay seen as um, acceptable enough um, treatment or uh, life, uh, or whatever, and uh, had its own, certainly its own amount of less than enthused, if not outright um, pushback and uh, more from uh, the people in our country trying to get it done and uh, enacted as a law and a we're gonna you know a continued constant uh, thing moving forward on top of trying to get women the right to vote while uh, as well as not accepting um, even though they did get it uh, pretty much put through for um, the ability for black men, but not women, to have uh, the ability to vote now. Um, and so it was a lot of effort and a lot of money, and they had to be convinced it was worth it. The public at large had to be convinced that it was worth it, and then the corporations and, and more had to be convinced it was worth it. And so I... Can almost guarantee you there's enough talks behind closed door, 
closed doors trying to uh, significantly um, express and 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 show off like how much more revenue could now be generated with women working and being advertised to and, and buying product and 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 it would be really really good and then like if we if we have our kids going to school they need these these school products and also um it's it's likely that we can treat them like this and they'll they'll think and believe like like that and uh that will help uh further uh your churches or whatever i don't give a shit when is is they gotta sell them on it you know then on top of that it's like you have to sell the public at large which takes advertising money going around getting enough viral marketing uh meaning crowds to listen and talk because they had to talk to their groups all around their co-workers, houses, so on and so forth. Uh, and then furthering and continuing this effort to protect the children, because it's obviously wrong and bad. If you're not trying to be on board with this, regardless of what you think of us women, you must think of the children, and this is a good thing. You know? And... Uh, that's that's what we see even in uh, some of the public school history lessons taught to us, in which they would stand at the corners of uh, streets or in uh, various places and have the you know cone that they would shout through or um, you know enough of a crowd bot to stick around by a possible campaign donor, you know, to be able to listen and draw another crowd, because they had their own viral marketing uh, ideas and, and, and techniques at the time uh, that this was uh, going on. Uh, a lot less was um, about the TV and or radio, and far more about the individual uh, street corners and um, the people that really seem to be big community leaders uh, in their areas, respectively, being met with and, and, and discussed various things, uh, as you see also online, if we're being honest. We see that pretty similarly in private messages, direct messages, or uh, the um, drama-filled escapades of the influencers uh, that are on the, the uh, sites they're on. Um, and so, uh, sometimes it, it, it is uh, from comments or individuals around them. Sometimes it's within the influencers themselves. And sometimes it's uh, the, the feed that uh, a lot of marketers uh, site owners and more understand that these individuals are highly influential and extremely significant towards various uh, things, either site traffic, topics discussed for whether or not it's acceptable or otherwise, and uh, they pay good money um, PR firms, private marketing firms, for various groups that wish to try and influence and or uh, create uh, hype or various uh, discussions, possibly even uh, individuals to directly uh, start and try and uh, get through new laws, bills, or, uh, or other things um, from uh, these uh, situations uh, going on. Uh, but, uh, back then, it was, you know, obviously a easy enough way to uh, segregate and separate 
individuals who did not care for children and were obviously terrible and evil and bad, and those that uh, were not that, on top of uh, obviously being better as a result of uh, liking and accepting that women uh, and be more progressive, uh, even if they were still probably quite misogynistic, even the women uh, to themselves and others at the time, um, uh, you know, they were seen as progressive and, and hailed as, as, as big, you know, supportive, encourage all these great things, people, uh, on top of um, being a part of a much larger, greater um, situation, you know, um, overall thing going on for all the people involved uh, trying to get this women's right to vote, public school system, uh, change towards uh, our attitudes. This one's uh, the big er, uh, shit. They, they, you know, the, the conservative part brought some shit in. Because this is too progressive, this is too much, this is, this is, you know what I mean? And uh, then, of course, the progressive as, as well. And so, like, there are some things that are in a lot of that beginning half of the 19th century, the 1900s, that is, that you can take a look at and question why they would have thought that would to be acceptable, but this is not. Um, and... It's, it's quite obvious, uh, different times, different acceptable, tolerable things, people uh, and, and, and situations and so on. Um, and so I, I started off talking about how there were these ads or PSAs uh, and then they kind of dropped off about, you know, girls looking out for themselves and, and their kids and so on and family, right? They kind of dropped off because it's like the status quo is zeitgeist, and also uh, the level of effectiveness was very likely to be seen as just not there, thanks to um, it wasn't uh, as as big then um, as as uh, things like that are for us now or would later become. Uh, a few decades down the road. Uh, on top of, uh, they were very male orientated. Obvious, keep uh, the way it is now kind of going or continuing, and uh, were more than likely uh, sent various complaints or more uh, to the the people uh, selling the magazines or the air space and so on because that's what was far more common for individuals to invest and actually take time to do back then not quite as often or as much now so imagine their levels of complaint as a YouTube comment section through a phone line that had to have a switchboard operator. So, that was a thing. Um, and on top of that, a general sense and feeling it was uh, okay and not that big of a deal. Uh, At, the, at that time, uh, it, was, it just wasn't very likely to be seen as nearly as uh, destructive or wrong or bad or anything like that. Um, so, you know, uh, they had to get creative, which meant, you know, going around and talking about these things in speeches, more than likely... Uh, handing over the bullhorn or whatever to uh, men who seemed more credible and legitimate than the women at the time to be able to be taken seriously and um, 
allowed uh, that conversation and discussion to happen and even occur at all in the first place. And uh, so I wouldn't say that it, it just disappeared. I'm just saying that because especially they had age of consent laws uh, earlier uh, or a little after to uh, start springing up. Um, but uh, these PSAs started changing school things started changing it was unacceptable to teach about the uh, changes your body might go through or what you might have feel uh, which uh, the conversation might have been uh, something discussed in the home previously when there was more time and uh, they were a parent or a parent was uh, likely to be more around and uh, available to the children uh, more and more did the work that used to be done by the children have to be given towards adults or you know later maybe not even 18 years old yet teenagers who were seen as acceptable because if you didn't know I don't think they had quite the same school system and it wasn't quite as enforced meaning it was okay -er back then for you know someone in like let's say the beginning of high school or end of whatever middle school or something to start up uh, working instead of finishing school and uh, th that was uh, still viable then. So, and same thing with um, around uh, a period of time like that, it being far more okay, uh, more, more than far more okay, I'd just straight up say encouraged by uh, a lot of people. Um, from uh, what we happen to know for uh, some of the historical records uh, that um, it was uh, time to start looking to get married and have children and settle down. Uh, teenage boys and, and, and girls were both... Um, consistently encouraged and supported uh, around that point in time. Um, so, uh, that wasn't even that long ago. They were talking like maybe to the 20s, maybe 30s, you know, something like that. It wasn't e extreme, but it wasn't like, you know, and of course it changed as time went on consistently year after year decade after decade and uh, I think a, a good way to express that is individuals in the 70s while uh, and even 80s and somewhat encourage uh, in fact, like it's still kind of a thing now if I'm being really really honest about it but um, it wasn't even that long ago 70s and 80s uh, where um, you could actually believe that a teenage girl, boy could go have sex with an adult and uh, get married and uh, do the whole thing and, and um, while depending on the, the individual and, and the families might have been seen as a uh, little too fast or um, something uh, along the lines of uh, you don't know what you're getting into, mistake, something like this, um, still didn't have the same level of, of hatred at all. In fact, there, there wasn't as, in fact... It's kind of weird because it's like there was hatred, but there really wasn't, uh, from what I've been told.
old. And, uh, it seems it, it holds up to some of the stuff I've seen talked about or, or read. Um, but um, it, the, the majority of the concern was for the for the teenager, or uh, sometimes uh, even younger, actually, um, not uh, giving it. Uh, I don't know. It just seemed like that was their thing. They didn't really have like very many reasons outside of like um, you should. have sex more, or date around some more, or go through a little bit more of this or that, or general kind of stuff like that, but then told uh, they'd help them, and so I don't know. Um, weirdly enough, uh, not a lot of hatred for the adult, oftentimes, in the situation. Um not viewed in uh, every time, in fact, it, it, it's, it's just kind of ambivalent, it seems like some of it's negative, some of it's anger, you know, stuff, some of it's okay, some of it's, oh, yay, they're so whatever, right, with the various, you know, obvious statistical, like, hey, they turned out to not be so great to, oh, they turned out to be great to anywhere in between, depending on, uh, the people involved, so, uh, well, surprisingly, this one is a lot more common in many of the cities, at least for the things I briefly got told about from some people, but, um, I could, I could really just say it as it was more of a general culture um, at the time uh, viewed 80s a lot different though uh, but a, a 20 year old with a kid in high school or so on it was uh, kind of normal if anything um, I heard that from a, a Quite a few people, and uh, when I when I really asked them, like, did you really? I didn't have any feelings. Did you really? No, no, no. It wasn't a big deal to us. To, yeah, no. I was kind of creeped out. I, I'll be honest. I was kind of crushing on her, and so that was kind of the what the reason why, uh, or him, or various. You know, it's horror for that one, but you know, sure, the reverse applies. So. Um, anyways, uh, then there's the, the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s, which we're in right now, and, um, it's an odd one, it has literally been a rapid change, like, the 90s, you could have legitimately still have seen teenagers with adults, I remember that myself as a child seeing high schools high schooler girls or I think I remember a Jerry Springer episode where there was this 14 year old boy that married a 40 year old woman and they were it was legal and all that and the parents accepted and they were talking about it on, a, on an episode of Jerry Springer and I thought that was like Okay, well, that's a little odd, but it's acceptable. It's whatever. It helps him with her. She helps him with his homework and, and, and so on and so forth. And she says he's a little immature sometimes, but you know, overall, she likes it. I don't know. That's all I remember from the fucking episode, truthfully. It could have been some other. It was a daytime sh talk show, shock value kind of thing. So, uh, you know, and that was because where they lived in that state, it was okay to do that, legal, and, uh, there you go, um, 
and I, I think that was like mid 2000s or late 1990s or something like that. So, genuinely, within my lifetime, uh, obviously, things have drastically changed. A lot of it for the better, uh, I would say. Some of it, at least, I, I would, I'd say at least some of it for sure for the better. A lot of it I can't really comment because of the uh, what I talked about earlier. Um, really strong disregard for others' uh, situation, uh, thought, f- feelings. Uh, and or more uh, going on and the uh, resulting mob mentality, cognitive dissonance uh, and, and double standard of it's okay for us or me but not for you and for certain things that totally is understandable but for other things when it's a an action where for them it is just it's nothing tied to with culture or racism or anything, and uh, they they do it and it's wrong for them, but then uh, when you do it, it's it's okay for you to think, say, or do these things, uh, and or more, you know, um, uh, with uh, entertainment now being a version of a entertaining charismatic uh, beatdown or bullying of a particular uh, subgroup or individual or uh, similar um, without really providing something uh, akin to um, a more apt and likely to end uh, on a positive, hopefully, discussion or thoughts and feelings uh, from from your side and where those come from and what your viewpoint of them and their actions and and words uh, have have been uh, and and your uh, individual perspective uh, on top of likely others as well, perspective, um, and uh, a um, hope and uh, uh, encouragement uh, with uh, a reaching out for further discussion uh, if uh, the person uh, can or feels as though it's uh, okay and acceptable or whatever they can put in the time effort and energy and or uh, work uh, to to help or support or encourage uh, this individual's um, progress uh, towards um, a more acceptable uh, perspective and viewpoint and behavior and 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 communication uh, from them uh, that's uh, towards themselves and towards others around them um, and why that is, uh, is, is is wanted and and needed not only just for uh, validation and acceptance of boundaries and them but also validation and acceptance of the the very real fact uh, that they all have um, their own perspectives and and, and reasons and 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 you are respecting uh, them as people and 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 truly uh, not uh, devaluing and uh, showing an obvious uh, 
belief, if not directly or even somewhat indirectly stated, a uh, some kind of uh, view that it's acceptable to um, view or treat them in a uh, inferior or derogatory or less than or in, uh, in any other way other than uh, as equals uh, people in which they have and deserve every single right to be uh, as long as uh, they are not harming themselves uh, in, in such a way in which uh, is uh, extremely uh, highly dangerous or detrimental, uh, possibly encouraging others as well, um, and so on and so forth like that, or uh, if not this, um, others as well uh, with whom they have relationships, uh, of which um, not to be a I don't care what you think, but they literally have, uh, and in every way, are right to do this. No reason, no need to in any way whatsoever reveal their private lives, their likes and dislikes. They have, you have no valid or any level of anything to get from them these these uh, this information they have every right to their privacy and in every single way and uh, a con continuous constant effort to pursue and or force out or uh, similar uh, from them or whatever is suggested to be happening is is harassment at best okay which can get much worse because it can start becoming defamatory and more and while uh, most people don't have the ability to hire lawyers and go after people some do and that that's acceptable behavior even though the crowd and everything else can sometimes uh, believe that it is a, a sign of weakness, which is weird because it's actually a sign of strength to say that my boundaries and um, my wants and desires of how I should and need to be treated. It's a need, okay? is not just acceptable and uh, completely reasonable, but in your continued mistreatment, it constitutes a, a, a clear, obvious effort to abuse and harass and more these individuals. And so um, that's kind of where I'm at because it's like, Nobody really goes after the mob in Twitter unless uh, significant enough um, situation of criminal activity is achieved um, either by the singular or group of individuals working together to dox, harass, and so on. So, give me a second, I gotta pee again.
this thing. A reasonable right to which you believe something to be harmful or harming someone, uh, you have to have, like, enough evidence for that not to just be, like, someone putting in a f bad tip for, like, you know, a anonymous tip line or some shit, and in fact could actually get you in trouble. If you didn't know. And it's like, that's how they get us. So I'm like, well, no, depending on the individual that you're talking about, uh, which could be YouTube drama nonsense to, like, some dude who's torturing someone in their basement, of which you make it sound like every single time you make an anonymous tip, that's what you're stating is going on. Like, the level of bullshit of, like, someone's in their basement and they're being raped and murdered or some shit. It's like, that's unlikely to be the case, dude. <laughs> You know, but, like, well, I guess I have to check it out or something. But, see, like, that's kind of the problem with the whole, like, well, they're a pedophile. And I'm like, well, it's not illegal to be a pedophile. It's illegal to sexually assault someone. It's not illegal to be a pes uh, pedophile. But could you imagine? I know it's not the same uh, as the, the rainbow community, of course, uh, with whom has their identity um, based upon gender, of course. Uh, I mean, their sexual identity, right? But it, it doesn't really change the, the same thing. It's like, oh, they were born with this, um, uh, and it didn't go away, and it wasn't what they chose, and there isn't a way to get around it. And uh, if you are suggesting chemical castration methods or uh, similar or reasonable, or some conversion therapies are reasonable, to force or very significantly suggest that they do uh, while you are gay or whatever, um, I, I just can't believe um, what the fuck is coming out of your mouth, truthfully. I can, I can totally get it from the, you know, the, the regular hetero people. I mean, they, they helped that bitch out. You know, they did that. But, like, you literally fought for having rights for your guys' selves, and you guys' and gals and all that selves, such that, you know, other people wouldn't be subjected towards this, could lock you up in a mental health ho uh, institution and uh, be forced to be chemically castrated, possibly even have a very real, likely, if it was a bad place, outcome of forced sexual reassignment, uh, or even further, a continued effort of a conversion therapy of uh, homosexual men and or women, transsexuals, and uh, so on, during our uh, very much extremely dark and terrible beginnings of mental health treatment and beliefs uh, and our uh, start of our country if you are in America like I am um, which is a, a similar uh, situation to uh, in, in many ways, if not uh, us being worse or them being worse, uh, depending on the country uh, you went to at the time of that going down, um, and the beliefs uh, by the authority, uh, status quo, zeitgeist, doctors, nurses, psychologists, psychiatrists, and so on, um, held and uh, firmly significantly defended and uh, more um, to others themselves courts medical um, studies uh, and so on for uh, these unfortunate 
individuals that were uh, incorrectly, obviously, I would say, forced through this kind of treatment and to endure it. Uh, often, as well, uh, increasing their likelihood of death. Um, even though when humanely, quotation marks, it was stated in a couple of places. Um, I don't want to go too far to that one, but um, seen as humanely anyways, uh, performed and done by churches or uh, uh, similar individuals um, and not the institutions it resulted in a higher likelihood of not dying is a decent enough way of putting it so um, that was and of course everybody saw them they were whatever intermingling with you know the community people knew their and so on and so forth and they're doing this thing to change for for all of them to be what they want them to be and so uh, we're liked generally speaking more a little more often uh, than the ones who uh, went to quote unquote professional help with this so uh, yeah unfortunately uh, there is something to be said about um, colored individuals uh, undergoing um, similar torturous experimental or weird, whatever you want to call them, quote-unquote treatment, uh, irregardless of, of their race, of course, uh, but more specifically, uh, I don't remember what it was, I think it was to experiment on intellectual capabilities, or I don't really remember, It's it's been a long-ass time, uh, but let's that's a thing uh, that was also going on. And women, they themselves too, ended up getting a decent amount of uh, studies performed uh, as to period things or, you know, menstrual cycles really, more than anything I should really say. Um, um, the moodiness or like levels of uh, I don't really want to get too much further into it but uh, a similar thing uh, was was a uh, treatment in a very extreme manner uh, similar versions of a conversion like therapy device were used on, on women to have them not uh, get rid of the gay, uh, more specifically, become more subservient to their husband or uh, likely to have sex or various shit like this, being honest. Um, and it's effectively a version of a... Um, negative and positive reinforcement uh, profile of um, treatment and hypnotism connected together with consistent uh, behaviors reinforced and so on. So a lot of responses is something, I forget what it was, but um, a lot of hypnotism shit. The hypnotism was big back in the day. Like, it was significantly... Uh, bigger than it is now, uh, in the here and now, um, so like the mid-1800s, so I think like 1950s, 1960s, it was a shockingly large portion of therapy, and, uh, it was seen, um, as a much more likely, uh, and would work form of treatment and therapy for people 
undergoing uh, and going through uh, various things, uh, stressful situations or loss of, of, of people in their life or uh, all that. And um, you could definitely put forth because of the general attitude and belief of the people at the, the time reinforced over uh, the uh, generations uh, that they had while it was much more significant um, than now uh, really helped uh, increase the the viability and, and, and likelihood of, of um, something occurring uh, with hypnotism so um what I, what I would say is uh, it doesn't really matter. The point is is that they kind of, any accepted scapegoat group who was not viewed in the highest regard at the time by the general population and zeitgeist were almost all effectively tortured and um, told it's good that they're being tortured. And this is the only effective or only correct uh, form of treatment for uh, what is going on with them and uh, that it's all on their fault and uh, blah 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 similar garbage effectively and it, just to let it happen and, and just, uh, general gist of it's this, you know what I mean, and uh, then of course persecuted even uh, when doing those and going through those treatments uh, to appear and even full on uh, complying and um, in that abusive situation that's going on, completely people pleasing, fawning response happening where they'll do whatever the, the group or crowd says for fear of life and or more and uh, will gaslight themselves into being um, uh, not what they feel or uh, have as uh, ideas or thoughts or acceptable uh, levels of uh, treatment or pain or whatever because um, of these other obviously extremely, extremely highly worse than the treatment uh, options of death or straight up being allowed to get raped, murdered, and tortured by, uh, by the, the, the big group. And so, um, they'll comply which is what literally was the case for a lot of the people I just mentioned. Um, there isn't much of a difference there. Even if you want there to be, there is not much of a difference. They are born with this. They are treated, while well, you're treated better now, pretty much the same way you used to be treated. And the uh, resulting communication and um, acceptance and understanding is uh, not even remotely anywhere except for people that are in the shadows like me who believe that it should be something that um, isn't uh, the way it should be better than the way it is now like women being able to vote and homosexuals being accepted and transsexuals too, and all the rest of them, and same with black people, and, and uh, Latino, Americans, and all the rest. It's a lot. I mean, hell, we had to deal with Irish people because of the famine coming in, and they got treated effectively like black people, and uh, colored people in general, uh, thanks to that. So, uh, generally speaking, America has a huge history of being incredibly shitty discriminatory, scapegoaty, violent, aggressive people who do not validate or even think about the supposed 
uh, person's um, goings on and actual outright, uh, you know, fucking problems that are not actually problems, they're just normal. We see it in other animal species. We see pedophilia and ebophilia and hebophilia and other animal species too. We do. We also see that it being successfully uh, done and not a concern in some of these species as well. What I'll also say is we're also not really at all allowing ourselves to have a outside-the-box critical thinking done about actually having a very similar thought and opinion of how we parent and teach our kids about being safe but um, and understanding themselves and their emotions and everything else and what that naturally can consent yeah well no no, no that can lead to for them being able to consent and uh, be a valid consent to earlier than you would probably suspect because it can be taught at home before even kindergarten is 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 performed and so it, it is up to you as parents to do that and help uh, them to grasp these concepts and understand uh, a lot of it um, which is not done very often uh, in our society at large. It's mostly the teachers and the students around them in the school they go to that are the teachers of our morals and ethics and, and, and whether or not we'll accept uh, what's said or thought versus the uh, authoritarian or otherwise whatever parenting style might be there. The, the, the parents are not as uh, fully trusted as often or as likely as um, they would be. It, it's so normal that we don't even think of it as odd. But like, it should be a little odd at this point. There's such a disconnect from parent and child that by the time they go to school they are no longer in any way and probably likely before that if we're being real about it the child they, they thought they were raising and um, are also very likely to come with their own baggage and situations and ups and downs and the invalidating response of it's just school is, is bad and then uh, you know, not being uh, treated in, in such a way that um, expresses and, and, and shows off that they are uh, understanding your curiosity on uh, maybe awkward sexual or relationship or whatever it could be topic and your uh, showing of uh, acceptance that that it's okay, and um, explaining the reasons why they might not want to learn yet, or do, so, I just see, um, uh, unfortunately, a good deal of uh, people getting a lot of what I talked about that I do not like in the internet community or in real life for the reactionary mob mentality or other things that I talked about um, for non-acceptance or persecution of others or oppression and suppression um, especially when it's being perpetuated and continued and justified by our own government based upon uh, various subcultures or groups, posters, shadow bands, and the like that may or may not fit with capitalistic viewpoints or um, what the government is uh, accepting of currently, because that has all changed uh, over decades as, as well, if we're being honest. 
in generations too. So, um, and just within that scope, it's it's like they they get kind of taught by their parents to be anxious of these things and and be secretive of these things and lie about these things and be very, um, you know, curious and uh, risk taking. Uh, since that is their only real avenue, much like uh, black people and poor opportunity or whatever color uh, individual it could be in a poor opportunity and and all that environment in, in which that is seen as a far more viable option to get needs met. And uh, I know it doesn't sound like a need for a child, but um, it's a need. And I don't just mean sexual need, I mean curiosity to learn is a need. And to be taught correctly and approached with care and not a single-sided, black and white, overly simplified, reductionist viewpoint on a particular subject that is a little bit more complicated, but not actually that complicated. It just takes a little while to explain. Topic that can still be simplified and reduced and told, come to me, I'll give them this long ass fucking, you know, video or podcast or something. And they can choose whether or not to go through all of it and do all the work themselves instead of having my own ass do all the work for them, which they will likely just try and discredit and or invalidate and or uh, simply do their echo chamber, this is the only way it would be, which is goalpost moving at that point versus mine, which all I'm doing is stating obvious like issues with some of the supposed claims of the individuals about these people being all wrong and bad um and if we again take a look back at the supposed scientists or well-meaning individuals doctors nurses psychologists on transsexuals homosexuals bisexuals and black people other colored minority individuals a similar if not almost verbatim in many ways, um, word choice and uh, speech pattern and um, communication in general happens to end up sounding and, and reading as uh, with, with them, as uh, with the people that are hating the minor attracted people. Um, and invalidating uh, them, their experiences, their voice, their opinions, their minds, everything, on t- top of uh, being trained to be, if not projecting, and uh, having a difficult time not to project um, a great deal of their own stress, fears, and experiences, terrible trauma, and experiences, traumatic experiences, um, towards uh, individuals who did not do that to them specifically, and also did not do that to anyone, and are very unlikely to do that to anyone, albeit as highly invalidating and extremely extremely obviously something that wouldn't be allowed for someone else in any way has been very much uh, encouraged and supported acted upon by many many people together so it's um, not, from my point of view, 
a very acceptable um, and outlining these other um, clearly if you are of a persuasion uh, on being open-minded um, can without me influencing and putting in bias and uh, a possible uh, desired narrative or whatever else um, and the links which can be considered legal illegal at times to provide or link from a website uh, to another in, the, in this instance even if there isn't uh, any pornography uh, there uh, apparently I couldn't really tell you all the laws but I've heard um, depending on country even state or province or whatever um, it could be considered um, a illegal activity inciting something or false even if the information is actually real information um, subversion there's, there's a few whatever they can try and do um, and it's, it's kind of hard because that's actually something um, uh, that is uh, obviously thought of as correct and, and, and encouraged by their government and other uh, groups or individuals uh, to, to go after for someone doing um, proactively um, on top of uh, it gives them a person with whom they can say is is uh, this bad person that's helping or trying to say that these are acceptable people or so on and so they can go after me and, 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 and try and find out what's going on with me with as well of uh, many um, uh, many possible other things is what I'll say either people, corporations, governments um, and more that want to desperately uh, have um, evidence that was there when I first started trying to find some of this stuff uh, disappear uh, as is if, if it never uh, existed um, but uh, the false memory gaslight is very real you just remember, remembered it wrong and there's no way that that was real or true instead of believing that uh, much like with, of course, the uh, colored minority individuals and um, people with mental health disabilities, women and uh, people whom have a uh, different sexuality, happen to have literally the same thing happen with their evidences and um, supported with research and or doctors who were viewed as legitimate um, along with the, the science uh, ended up just disappearing at times or were destroyed or lost um, and we've seen this consistently throughout not just America but like the whole world when a scapegoat is, is there, uh, 
yes, you could point to the Holocaust and books being burned. Um, uh, but there's 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 far more than that, and uh, while some of it is simply uh, the result of random mistakes, um, it's surprising how many random mistakes seem to happen when taking a look into uh, some of these these uh, pathways of discovery to new knowledge that uh, could change your perspective on a given topic that is currently being used to help continue and and, and push uh, certain groups to being more uh, accepted and legitimate and and okay in in, in, uh, in our everyday lives, um, or uh, also on top of a general disdain and dislike of certain individuals that has been perpetuated by this consistent group mob effort. To um, have them believe in, in, in every way that they that this is justifiable and acceptable um, treatment towards them, and um, anything less is actually considered uh, in in every way likely to be um, worse uh, than than doing the opposite. So. Uh, whatever that ends up going uh, off into, um, call it paranoia for what you will or want. It's not really, if I'm honest. Um, anyone that's uh, known some of the history, the real history, uh, isn't often talked about. It can be still very much found of our treatment towards uh, colored individuals in our country, um, mental, mentally disabled or having mental disordered individuals in our country, women in our country, and uh, sexuality, uh, different sexuality individuals in our country for the majority of our country's entire history has been very uh, lacklusterly good is a very nice and extremely gentle way of saying they straight up got away with rape, murder, torture, uh, and so much more to try and, um, continue, um, the, the, the way people were thinking already or sometimes even worse and um, while uh, people got votes or the right to vote they were in, in every capacity uh, it seemed uh, continuously undermined and uh, oppressed and suppressed uh, still uh, we see that with um, c colored individual or you know they're unfortunately extremely uh, obviously bad communities um, that were very underserved and uh, intentionally made to be without uh, the same level of opportunity and uh, equality and, and, and uh, so on for them to uh, uh, gain employment or uh, education or something in which uh, would allow for um, a reduction and a change in the perception of um, 
their um, general uh, stereotypes that the public continued with for still even till today. So, and still are continuing to try uh, because a lot of uh, a lot of people don't uh, fully grasp or understand how to read some of these studies uh, showing uh, some of these uh, variables that were left seemingly intentionally out as uh, factors in um, the results of the, uh, the IQ tests or uh, you know crime rates or uh, whatever might be there and um, again yes exactly same thing with uh, mental health individuals mental you know mental having mental disorder or mental uh, challenges or incapabilities uh, same thing with uh, of course the LGBTQIA plus crowd um, as well um, and uh, other various sexual kinks uh, communities if we're going to be a little more inclusive here uh, there are a decent number of communities that are highly persecuted and uh, viewed in uh, a light and way uh, where it's a another similar it's not acceptable uh, I'm all for not king shaming but this is not okay for a king to be allowed it's, it's like consenting individuals who talked and communicated hopefully or likely before anything got done uh, seems like you should not be involved in that conversation uh, but you do involve yourself that is a similar thing with pick me's or the rape kink communities or the bondage sadomasochism the there's a shit ton i couldn't even get into it truthfully there's there's so much and then on top of it like viewing certain things as 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 less valid and 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 worse than others i mean reddit's chock full of examples of men and women both jumping on the bandwagon and going after uh, various kink communities on reddit uh, that they just don't like um and uh there is the whole purge of a lot of communities by reddit uh, after a certain point um, that seemed to center around some of the more uh, rougher, maybe extreme, or like more cerebrally, uh, psychologically felt as not allowable anymore uh, communities, you know, in terms of like misogyny or... Um, I don't fucking know. I don't want to get into it. But they're obviously a part of all of it. I don't see how they wouldn't be, considering a lot of them are uh, in all of your communities and are equally as valid, and but also as subjugated and oppressed and not talked about. And uh, you trying to find, if you can try and find information on how to initiate, perform safely some of these things is uh, less than great or even good um, to being able to find those kinds of informations. Uh, but they're, they're more open if you know where to look now. Um, but wow, did that take a while uh, to get there. So... Um, and even then, it's still always an underground, can't really be allowed to be open about uh, that part that is obviously going on and very relevant in, in many ways to your relationship and everyone around you and their relationship as well, situation and uh, the likes and dislikes and all the rest of it. So I, I 
you know, I, I tend to have, like, this weird outlook on it, because it's like, we have this massive need for extreme, if not, I don't know, uh, it, it, it seems to swing wildly, though, but, like, a lot of need for privacy, and belief of it to be necessary, and instead of viewing it to be necessary for the maintenance and, and, and health and wellness of your relationship, um, it's, I think, forgotten and often overlooked of, more than anything in my mind, um, the fact that people will ostracize and condemn and more, even, possibly, uh, the people that are, are out with what uh, they're into and or doing between people that are fully aware and okay with with doing it, you know what I mean? So, it, it's kind of weird to me that we are, again, doing another fawning and, uh, you know, um, so on response to effectively another mob that has all but uh, codified into our very constitution uh, need to not ever talk about it around anyone, lest you get punished in one way or another. So, this is another reason why I'm bringing up the, the minor attracted people. Um, because, again, it's, it's a, it's, it feels extremely similar. It's, it feels extremely similar and uh, has very likely to at least benefit um, children, even if it turns out they are unable to consent, which I find quite unlikely, illogically unlikely, to be the case in every way. Even if you just go brute force statistics, there's got to be at least a percent of something that can. So, and that's what happen. That's what's happening right now. So, if anything, we're raising that percentage, however much. And the ability for, and this one's even more taboo to uh, apparently sometimes not as taboo, depending on the individuals involved incestuous relationships wherein the individuals are not producing children but are fully capable of enjoying and consenting and uh, it's fine with the ones involved it's getting into a weird kind of gray murky area of well if a perspective in, in which might be normalized in the future let's say where it is very much uh, seen uh, in a way where it is way more wrong and, and uh, negative or whatever you want to call it to not uh, help and teach your children at an early age uh, either to uh, have themselves uh, perform uh, those activities on themselves or... Um, participate uh, with the adult family members, parents, or if the parents themselves, someone that is trusted, uh, does these activities in a non-traumatic and uh, abusive way that um, you're, you're obviously um, kind of gonna fuck up your kid's life, or whatever the hell they might end up saying, if I'm being honest, because the, the, the communication skills, uh, hopefully they're better, we don't know how long, the, you know what I mean, so, a general just is like, it's it's worse to, to, to not than it is to do, and in fact, uh, pushing and helping them to continue uh, with the, the habit and, and activity is seen as a very real and significant positive instead of a negative as it is now. Much like helping kids brush their teeth and talking and communicating and validating and 
working towards this that they uh, at this juncture in time or something else feel as though it is uh, very necessary and and needed for their improvement uh, and you know as a good habit to have that is healthy for them psychologically and physically emotionally and, and, and all that which could genuinely end up being a possibility that could be seen in a, a, enough after enough time of, of that going on and it being accepted and allowed to occur um, then it could very well point to um, it just a new, very normal family activity that um, is uh, they themselves looking back here in 2022 like we are the, the dumb, shitty people that just couldn't get it together and they're so much better than us in every way you know, as we do for the people uh, in the 1900s, let's say, or the 1800s, you know, and so, uh, while I don't uh, know if and or when it could happen, um, especially since, you know, acceptance of an extremely targeted group and then allowance and uh, written in, in law with nuanced contextual language that allows for uh, uh, situations to be acceptable and legal, for them to fully uh, engage in these activities in a non-abusive and non-traumatic manner. would uh, be a lot to try and get done uh, especially if you're looking at how much we have yet to even accomplish for the LGBTQIA community within their own damn selves not even getting into the laws and, 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 and saying that they're equal and, and, and justified and valid and wanting the same treatment and pay and all the rest of it that everyone else does uh, happen to get. So, um, and they, in their own communities, having quite a few different viewpoints on bisexuality, pansexuality, transsexuality, and acceptance and tolerance and more within that. Uh, so, uh, they're, they're not exactly a fully cohesive all put together, uh, kumbaya, cooperative, you know, community, as much as they try to be. Um, there's obviously uh, individuals that do not like one part of the group or another, and find some things acceptable and others not, and uh, many things similar. And same thing with uh, African uh, or colored minorities of, of, our, of our country and mental health care patients with being gaslit or not and mentally uh, incapable uh, individuals uh, having their own issues as well and um, f again further into disabilities in general for anyone physical or mental you know it, it's a it's a big fucking shitty topic and uh, a lot of uh, the the people I find don't understand perhaps the amount of infighting and uh, lack of communication understanding and acceptance of, uh, of each other is a big big deal uh, that is actually furthering uh, the the individuals who stand to gain the most, whom are the you know egotistical, bigoted, racist, homophobic, 
and all that individuals uh, whom are the uh, still go to always consistent you know media lover uh, producer producers love them you know they, they you know they go for because th- that's what that is there's a good amount of them you know so which that's another reason why uh, despite a lot of my talking to the politically left leaning side of that fence, you'd be surprised at how many of them are a little bit more accepting or comfortable with the idea of just acknowledging that teenagers and even kids can have a sexual urge or desire or similar, and sometimes adults uh, look, but that's it. You know what I mean? And it's one of the reasons why the sexualization can occur in various characters that might feel off-putting. But it's genuinely a thing where other teenagers or kids or other adults are looking and they want to see. And it's a kind of embarrassing, unrelatable thing where... They didn't try to dress themselves up a little bit more sexually or provocatively or put together in a nice, handsome... It doesn't matter. The point is, you get the kind of thing I'm trying to talk about or say and acknowledging that they are obviously aware and, and of course, thinking about it they themselves um, and the others around them. And, again, it's another weird... I call it a hang-up. This country has a massive hang-up about not being so shy, but being vastly open and super about, you know, sex. It's like you're being super shy to being like, in no way whatsoever can I tell you about this. And it's bad, and like, like, yeah, you are bad, too. Yeah, you're, you're, you know, it's just insane and intense where all of it seems to end up heading to and, 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 uh, not really addressing a lot of these elephants in communication and uh, acceptance and uh, uh, perspectives and validation and uh, all the rest of it that's going on in our everyday lives and our normalization of abusive behaviors and, and, and communication and actions, uh, so on and so forth, uh, with uh, a very real... Um, replication crisis in many uh, social sciences uh, in psychological sciences unfortunately or so on um, uh, on top of a lack of input of the uh, general majority feeling of uh, acceptable and not acceptable uh, things that could be impacting the results a massive amount to what was said, you know, in public to what is said uh, under confidence in private as well. And, and on top of this, the lies that or you know, um, straight up just not including uh, another side of the story. Uh, and, uh, and nobody really in any way acknowledging that. Uh, part of, uh, you know, the evidence lacking for their, their argument. And the very likely, if they were to do preliminary, uh, lacking good evidence that should be considered outside of an inflammatory or eye-catching title that doesn't seem to include a large percentage of these other variables... Um, which can definitely include the cultural society zeitgeist, but we're also looking at where they're located, their DNA profile, their socioeconomic profile, and the general um, attitudes within their communities, on top of the history profile of the children and adults and beliefs uh, 
that were there and or may have changed over time to what they are now. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, the continuation of the added and very, very necessary uh, impact of the fam familial, yes, family, um, on top of the uh, friends and teachers or other authority figures in life, uh, viewpoints and uh, communication styles and uh, punishment styles and more, and uh, the resulting behavior and or lack of behavior, uh, responding response and more, uh, that can attribute uh, itself to um, becoming uh, more traumatic than otherwise uh, may have, if at all, been there, depending on their um, view and perspective of the uh, sexual activities that occurred with them and the uh, individual. And so... Uh, on top of therapy, the viewpoints and, and expressed uh, opinions or perspectives of the therapist, psychiatrists, and of course they're viewed, and, and so like it's a big deal. Like a lot of that greatly influences every single part of the. Uh, child's um, perspective over time, and the likelihood and chance of it being directly or a more contributing uh, factor, for, uh, for including the child sexual assault or perceived non-sexual assault, rape, and or other uh, abuse uh, going on with the individual that uh, is, should hopefully also, if it can be done, uh, studied and participate. But of course, these are also individuals that, shocker, um, they can't be convicted because that introduces the authority figures automatically saying it was wrong and bad, which greatly impacts and changes the outcome of their perception of what's going on and uh, believed significance or lack of significance and what uh, was felt or perceived uh, wrong, good, and so on, uh, and a possible change to that perspective if um, uh, it, there is one um, then there is the unfortunate real truth that like sexual assault can still be uh, misunderstood and, and blocked out and wanting to be perceived as not sexual assault uh, and uh, bad things did not happen or occur and as a protective defense mechanism, uh, it, it, it gets kind of changed its pers perspective or or kind of hidden away in, the, in their memories and psyche, um, which can later come out uh, in, in many uh, different ways, from what I understand, um, masquerading as other mental disorders. Um, especially if left unaddressed for long periods of time. So, it, it, it is a big deal to actually put forth a great deal of effort to figure out how much by your questions being asked and answered, you're also biasing or non-biasing or influencing or not influencing the test results or the perceptions of the individual involved in the study's participation, which is a necessary thing to do for these studies. Unfortunately, um, 
as much as it is a big ask and a large amount of things to take into consideration, it is unfortunately uh, a genuinely extremely thorough and very, if it comes out ever, probably the cornerstone of child sexual uh, results, I suppose, of their uh, understanding or lack of or level of trauma or not. Uh, it'll be a big, huge, massive study um, that will be incredibly important uh, and should remain uh, within a certain degree of, 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 of change uh, based upon the level of acceptance or um, tolerance or view of the zeitgeist and culture and people involved and so on and so forth. Uh, and so the more that are involved in this study and the more uh, that you can get in each and every single background and so on and so forth will greatly enhance the outright viability, legitimacy of this study. Uh, to such a massive degree, it would be the study you reference to any level of... of, of importance for any, just like that, that college professor or uh, college student whom have to happen to ask these questions and, and perform these experiments on LGBT, LGBTQIA plus individuals and uh, their sexual activities within the bedroom and uh, the measurements of genitalia and all the rest, which uh, greatly expanded their knowledge and it was incredibly instrumental with flaws, of course, and uh, us growing and, and genuinely legitimizing the acceptance of the community. So, um, if it wasn't for that motherfucker, you'd be a lot further back right now I have to say, um, and those studies in general and the book published, um, so, but, uh, like, uh, good luck finding, uh, uh, somehow figuring out the, the gray area loophole for the study where you don't disclose to authorities, uh, that this person's, uh, by law, under, under law, the definition of the law, being sexually assaulted or, and abused, or, and or raped, or whatever else, so, right, uh, right, and then on, on top of it, uh, your, should you find legitimacy to it, level of culpability and liability, of being able to do the study without even getting into morals and ethics, which kind of are having to be uh, greatly altered, is, is what we have to say, to allow for a neutrality and, until the end of the study is, is, is finished, in which we allow for uh, those things to be happening without our involvement in them, which is a standard nature study, if we're being honest, of animals in the environment. Basically, if we're being real, we're not supposed to, uh, they're not supposed to, I should say, uh, involve themselves in the plight or death or whatever else of any of the animals uh, uh, that they're studying. Um, they're, they're not supposed to. They do sometimes on occasion, but they're really not. Just observers. That's where the ethical, moral part for you gets really bad, because obviously you should, and it's wrong, and it's bad. 
and I'm like, and that's not neutral. Until you have this study that is a conventional way of thinking that has a large amount of significant flaws attached to it. To be nice and put it nicely. Otherwise, it's, it's also extremely likely we just see a very biased result with which is extremely narrow, scoped, and fielded on people that fully, truly believe that they were assaulted and abused and traumatized. And uh, that's, that's the only thing they're looking at. Not to mention the individuals that were trying to add into the conversation obviously don't want to be found, don't want to be known. It's extremely risky and deadly for them to participate should information be exposed, regardless of the level of severity of abuse or lack of abuse. And um, all the rest of it, and how they talk, how they act, all of it. Groom them is not a good way to put that. It's really just communicate for being real about that to actually just sort of normalizing and grooming. It depends, because it's like levels of manipulative, but then it's okay, but then it's like certain perspective, and that's the problem. You know, that's, that's, that's what we got to take a look at and, and find out. Of course, you know, society will say this is this or whatever, but... Uh, and their minds and perspectives, their reasons and, and, and justifications for saying, acting, whatever it is, um, have these emotions and thoughts and feelings and perspectives attached to them, which have to be counted as valid, even if it's not by society, even if it should and it is, like your sexuality is valid, right, and there's their whole thing, it's valid, their emotions, thoughts, feelings, all that's valid, especially in the study, that's, that's literally what it would be, I can already tell it doesn't matter, even if the results come out literally, really heavily indicating and, and, and showing uh, with as incredibly accurate and thorough this study would uh, really realistically be um, allow for us to make genuine rough claims for sure no matter what like pretty accurate if not rough claims on the validity and uh, acceptance of uh, pedophiles, ebophiles, hebophiles, minor attracted people um, in our society and um, the, the level of added or only uh, viewed uh, as uh, trauma and abuse toward, to the situation that came from either the adult that performed these sexual activities or the parents and friends and, and more. And the invalidating responses and, and to what to look out for. Because, of course, they're kids. And so helping them to see that is going to be beneficial. Communication is key, which he states. Yes, I do. I state multiple times. Communication skills, emotional understanding skills along with emotional regulation and understanding of consequences over time have all been not just in this study multiple times in multiple studies which are not hard to look up just google that show that with delayed gratification as in like I'll give you five dollars if you decide to not go with a dollar now and if they understand consequences, they understand long-term delayed gratification right there. 
then emotional regulation of you know individuals being taught breathing techniques or as you know I was a very angry frustrated a very violent you know I should say violent I did really but aggressive kid when I was younger I got taught you know coping skills you know emotional regulation skills when I was in third grade or something it's like it would have been better if I was taught this earlier it did work it did help for a little bit I just felt silly and it's like then there's the added embarrassment of using them when everybody else doesn't need them around you or seemingly doesn't need them quotation marks because it, it's clear they they definitely need them you know what I mean they grow up to be adults without this stuff so 